Welcome back to the Late Night Pokemon Card Stream. It's me, TCC, and we're here to open up a bazillion Pokies. Tonight we have the Naughty Grimer. You can see he's got his eyes on the prize. Uh, he's banned in the U.S. They changed him so that he looks forward. You've heard me talk about this a million times. Actually, the people who are here early have probably seen this a million times. This is one of my favorite cards, and we're doing another giveaway. We looked up his price recently, and a PSA 9 Naughty Grimer goes for $300. So this is the card I'm giving away next. And, uh, you know, just to show you guys how much I appreciate all the fun we've had here, um, we're going to be giving this card away, and there's instructions for it uh, near the top of the description. So if you're curious how you get into this, you'll want to scroll up there. Very generous, mister. For sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure over time I would have sold them. Uh, and that would be nice, but, you know, I don't I don't necessarily need the money, and I want you guys to have something nice. Actually, you'll probably remember, Tammy Lowe, she took home a Dark Charmeleon uh, not too long ago that I also gave out. I think that was like a 9 Dark Charmeleon. So that one was worth like 100 when I did that. Didn't I also do one where I gave out a Rillaboom and a Colossal? That's like $300 together, right? Am I? Oh, no. Those weren't 10s, though. So those were probably worth about, probably in the range of $120. So this would be the biggest one so far. A $300 Naughty Grimer is very valuable. What's up, Funky Fluffy? Ethan says, maybe with some order. Oh, maybe some with orders. What? What are you talking about? All right, let me clean up the desk a little bit. <laughs> I was watching TV shows with my wife. All right. And... Maybe move this bulk. I didn't clean up all the bulk. Actually, I think I still can. Who's the one person thumbing this down? I'll fight you. Face fire says nice motivation. Well, maybe they're not graded. Can I have a dark Charmander? Good luck to everyone. That's right. Good luck to everyone. Maybe I should talk about how it works. Most of you guys have seen this before. Get this up here. Now, you guys are here early. No doubt we will reach a point where we have about 150 viewers, and I'll, I'll probably explain it all again then. But basically the way this works is there's a video you're going to click on, one of my videos, and you just have to leave a comment over there, and I even tell you what the comment should say. This enters you into the giveaway. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too, because if you win, I'm going to check to make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I'm just going to redo the, the uh, giveaway, okay? So you do have to be subscribed. It's a small admission fee. How do we win? What's under that what's under that skirt, TCC? Mister, a local wants to sell me a lot of the band cards for 200. Should I do it? Quick, do it. Bye, bye, bye. Why well, we that video has so many views, says Mike Side. <laughs> Mike Side's really excited because that video he posted it. It's a repost from my my TikTok collection and uh, uh, that that video did pretty well over there too. And it's doing well now. It's got like 60,000 views. So I picked that one for the uh, that's going to be where we host the giveaway for fun. And it's a simple video where uh, I'd opened up like three uh, three boxes of evolutions. And then I ran into this point where I pulled out like two hollow Charizards at the same time. This was a long, this was a while back. This is back when we were still living in our uh, condo. So this was before we moved. Oh, wow. This camera's so like, what's with the stinky angle, man? We got to get the good angle. Every night, I swear. James says, should I unsub so I can sub? Uh... That's right. <laughs> I don't think that's going to do anything. Snorlax says, I'm here. What's up, Snorlax? What's up, Mike Side? How's it going, everyone? What's today, by the way? I commented for Misty's Naughty Grammar. Very nice. My Walmart had chilling rain early. Got 10 packs. Oh, sweet, man. Glad to hear that. So it's Wednesday, June 16th. Oh, it's going to be Wednesday morning, thir uh, Tuesday night. So it's Tuesday night. She says, pee pee poo poo. What's up, Mr. Baba Buak? The Baba... The... Bob Bob Walk. Makes me think of that scary movie. What was that called? The, the Baba something? I can't remember the name of the movie. I think it was an Australian movie, was it not? It wasn't called The Baba Walk, was it? Tuesday night, Thursday morning. That's right. Baba Duke. That's right. The Baba Duke. Yeah, it was a creepy movie. It had its moments. Team Travis says Russian. Baba Duke was Russian? I don't think it was Russian, was it? Well, anyways. Uh, you'll notice under the today only part of the menu, I've changed that to just say special. And you'll see the UFC box break is there as well as a uh, reserve list for one of the, I think it's the Don Russ NFL packs. So now people can see those more clearly and that those are currently being uh, bought into for box break. And of course, we still have the XY base set. So the XY base set is moving along. 
Uh, I can't wait to open that up. And once that's open, we'll move on to a new Pokemon thing. So it'll be exciting. Raphael says, fancy. But yeah, here's that, here's that naughty Grimer. And I'm excited to hand it off to somebody. And it'll be a really nice part of your collection. It'll be a vintage card. And of course, you'll be able to resell it one day for a pretty fantastic amount of money, in fact. Sending my money for the upcharge. Sounds good, Mr. Cap JP. Mr. Have you seen the new V Union cards? I have. Fate says I need to subscribe. Hmm, after coming around here so long, I guess it's time. If that Grimer keeps looking there, he's gonna muck. That's true. Well, that's why he turns into muck. First, he's naughty, and then, I mean, if you look at muck, he's really just a bigger, fatter version of Grimer. What I think happens, Grimer's just the kid version, and then he becomes an adult, and he eats too many donuts, and gets he gains weight, basically. You need to go on a diet, muck. Trent says they're huge. What you call me? <laughs> Got some of those bulk baseball cards. Oh, right. We're still doing those junk boxes. Junk bulk box. Let me go make one real fast. I got to go tape up a box. I'll be right back. I'll BRB. So far, these have been fairly popular. People are like, I'll take that. So the junk box, what is it? The junk book box is just going to be filled up with cards that I would normally throw away. That would include stuff like Japanese Pokemon cards, okay? And it sits under the table, and it fills up throughout the night. All right. Sweet! Well, I'm ready to get started. What do you guys think? We're only seven minutes in, though. You're loving the Castle Crashers music? Me too. What's in the news today? Anything interesting in the news? Mr. has abandoned us. Kitty, 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 kitty. Ash has a mug. I'm going to die it. You better not be. At least two empty soda cans or I don't buy that trash. All right, I'm putting the soda cans in. <laughs> yeah, we've had, we've had somebody buy the junk box two nights in a row now. And, uh, I mean, they're nice. They're an okay thing. Yesterday night, it didn't fill all the way up, but I just pulled more cards off of the windowsill to finish filling it. California is fully reopened. Woo! All right, back to business. That's a good thing. Look at that Voltorb, man. He looks way too shifty. He looks like he's scheming. I don't like that. This Colossal should read $150. Would you ever open dollar store cards like Breaking Nate? Yeah, we could probably do that, but I don't know. It seems kind of like a... It seems kind of like a chore, you know what I mean? Now you gotta open like a bazillion packs to get one hit. What's up, Joramo? How's it going, Hazy? Texas border stash house packed with 108 migrants in searing heat. That's the news. Stash house? What's a stash house? Is that where they stash the good, the good pot? He's smoking too much pot. Let's see. There we go. The trap house? What's a trap house? I still don't know what you guys are talking about. Get that Colossal priced up. EV Heroes continues to be the most popular pack in a while. Walmart stashed their cards behind the customer service counter. No public access. That's smart. And honestly, honestly, all they had to do was raise their price. Because that will also get rid of scalping. Oops, 550 temperature, low temperature? What? It's pretty hot where I live right now. You know, normally I bitch and moan about the Missouri hot weather because it gets pretty hot in Missouri. Not like, it doesn't get hot like the desert in places like Texas and Arizona and, you know, places where it gets really, really hot. But it gets pretty hot over here in uh, Missouri. Like 90 degrees is pretty standard for our summertime. And under the sunlight, it's over 100, you know, when you're standing in the sun. But now it's like a, it's like a gift. My wife and I, we've gone swimming every single day for like the last week. You go out, the water is like as warm as bath water is, is real warm. And uh, we went kayaking for like a solid hour until my arms were burning. Then we just floated in the water for a while. It was pretty nice actually. 
Norlex says, it was nice and cool here. Mister, do you sell slabs on eBay? I do not. And that's because eBay takes a pretty large 10% cut. So I don't really like eBay. And uh, I sell all my slabs right here, in fact. Many of my slabs are in the live custom boosters. So if you ever want a chance at a random slab, you can always check there. And then, of course, you can have a shot at the uh, slabs in the large. People were buying spots in the large. The large has PSA 9 Espeon from Neo 2. Very beautiful. PSA 9, Shining Lugia. This is a $250 card, by the way. That's because the 10 is $1,000. And the uh, Gem Mint CGC Latios Latios. Ooh. All right. And that's the big one, right? That one's the $700 card. So some great cards in the large. And I have lots more cards to put in that large, so we'll keep the large moving. Mr. Just Got Here. What's the giveaway, says Javier. Mr. Javier is this wonderful, naughty Grimer. He's a $300 value. We looked him up just the other day, and I'm giving him away for free to one of you guys. The instructions on how to participate in the giveaway is found at the top of the description. Good luck, everyone. How many spots are filled on the large? Uh, yeah, good question. The large is currently sitting at 15 for Justin Magsomble. Uh, if there's 29 spots, that means there's 14 left. So it's halfway done, actually. The large is halfway done. And, uh, yeah, put one of those energies in the large, says Raphael. You got it, mister. Man, it would be nice if I could be in the large, because I would put myself into the large every time if I was allowed to. But I can't, because I'm the host. I'm the dealer. Dealer's not allowed to do that. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and refresh and see if anyone wants to open some pokies tonight. Uh, Anthony says, do we have to include the quotation marks? No, that does not matter. I mean, you could, but it's not going to matter. Mister has a big Pikachu collection. I want to see packs opened. That girl is looking at Grimer's bits. <gasps> That's so inappropriate. All right, here we are. Do, 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 do. So Mr. Ralph Dutcher actually sent in a last order uh, for $42, and he asked for six more uh, Eevee heroes. I'm not going to open it, but what I'll do is I'll set it aside. One, two, three, four, five. What I'll do is I'll set it aside, and... He can tell me if he still wants to open it tonight. If he doesn't, I'll simply give him a refund or he can use it as store credit. So we'll start there. You're trying to get that one last order in. Open, open on with my order. Oh, sweet. Are you saying to go ahead and open these guys right here? Ta-da. <laughs> it not un. Snorlax is sticking to his waifus. Ah, Mr. Keith is here. How's it going, Mr. Keith? Let's see what you pull. Good luck. Now, he's had some crazy luck. Why not, after we open these packs, we show everyone what you have in your bag? Because you got some crazy pulls in your bag. First pack cold. I want that Naughty Grimer. He's a $300 card, and I'm giving him away for free to all you guys because you guys are so nice to me, and I really appreciate it. Cold. Here's it's Flareon. We got Flareon V. Boop. And Umbreon V Max. That was five packs, three hits. Not bad at all. So see, all these cards will now go into the junk box. No padding, no special protection. It's not that organized. It just gets tossed into the box. And that box gets sold off for $17. Uh, unless, you know, two or three more people want it at the same time, in which case it goes off based on uh, sort of like auction, whatever, whoever, whoever makes a nice offer gets it. Okay, Mr. Dutcher, where did I last put your bag? Oh, no, I can't find this bag. Wait, did you have me ship your bag right at the end? You didn't have me ship your bag right at the end, did you? Keith said it's big. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> you didn't have me ship your bag off. I'm just going crazy. See, Mr. Book is gold. Is it? All right, we got a little Ante, a little Flareon, lots of V cards, but here we go. So Jolteon Alternative Art. We got a little VMAX. The Sylveon Alternative Art VMAX, which I suspect that's going to be a top card, even in English. 
We've got a bunch of V cards, some V maxes. Here, we'll put the hollows with those. You bought some uh, sport cards, of course. Now, here's another really good card. He pulled both of these. Now, we got lots of EV heroes left, so I hope to pull many more of these. The Umbreon and the Sylveon. Must be kind of like pulling Charizard. I, I think that's what that, that's the equivalent of, in my opinion. So we get these sport cards out of the way. You also pulled, this came out of EV Heroes too, did it not? It did, the Inteleon. And you pulled two of the Jolteons. I did not notice that. So you got the Jolteon already. All right, cool. Mew, you got a team up Charizard. That's very good. You guys should open team up and pull one of these Charizards for yourself. He pops up all the time, basically. All right, cool. So those are the primary pulls. Great bag, Mr. Dutcher. When are you getting more card graders? Uh, I'm in talks to get more card graders, but it could be a little while, okay? Once I once I have a deal for them, I'll I have a remaining case of card savers, and those will become readily available for sale, while the other ones are manufactured and shipped over. The shipping really does take about a month, so the shipping is what does it. Yeah, that's really cool. Whoever owns those card is rich. Well, these two cards right here, if they both grade 10 and they sell for about 500, um, he might be sitting on a thousand dollars of cards there. Oh, I see what I did. Okay, cool. One more tonight, says Keith Dutcher. Well, good luck, Mr. Keith. James Gower says four EV heroes. You got it, Mr. James. Oh, I love this music. The boss, boss fights with the uh, Castle Crashers. We've got Castle Crasher OST tonight. Who remembers Castle Crashers? You know, it's funny to, funny to think that Castle Crashers today, is basically it's a vintage game from like the Xbox 360 era. It's an old game now. Do you recommend going with CGC? You know, if you send it out with CGC and it grades perfect 10, you will make an unbelievable amount of money from that. All right, Mr. James, one Vaporeon. Uh, and then if it doesn't, if it grades 9.5, you still have the option of sending it off to PSA. You would just have lost a little bit of money on that initial grade with the CGC. So, you know, if you if you want to shop for like a pristine 10 or a perfect 10, why not go for it? Because those are better grades than, than PSA's PSA 10. And if it gets a 9.5, eh, you might just sell it, see if you can sell it. Morning, Mr. 6 a.m. here, the start of my day with Pokemon. I have a nearly full set of Reverse Hollow Evolutions. Nice. Ryan Blanton, I'll do three Shining Fates and three Darkness Ablaze. How's it going, Ryan? Welcome, welcome. Three Darkness. Darkness of Balls, where are they? Oh, man, I'm loving this music. I was a younger guy when I first, first played this game. I had a different girlfriend back then. Wait, what are these? These are team up. <laughs> this is a darkness of blaze. I, I guess I put a bunch of team up in a darkness of blaze box. All right, well, <laughs> what is this? That's vivid. I need to go get. Oh, I need to go get some darkness of blaze. I'll be right back. I'll be RB. I didn't realize I was out. I have a whole bunch of it in the kitchen, so. I'm not out, I just don't have any in here. Darkness of balls, that's vivid. Oh man, this music's so catchy. So upbeat. Castle Crashers, Crashers music was the best. Mr. Ryan. I would stay for hours playing this back in the day in high school when it came out. TC is going through cards fast with these beats. Ah! <laughs> Sleep. 
Snape. Stockdeath.com. What? Yeah, these soundtracks were really good. Okay, good luck to Ryan Blanton. Start now with Jim Trainer. It's the Coomed Out Eyes Girl. She's been having a good time with this other guy. He looks like a nerd, but he's packing. She knows. I mean, somebody else tried to explain this look on her face. She doesn't have that look on her face because she likes playing Pokemon that much. I highly doubt it. Pack number three. It's Snom. Pure satisfaction. I agree. And Amazing Rare Kyle Gray. Ooh. All right. Darkness Ablaze. Dartrix. Mary. Come on, hot one. Nope, Pissimian. So your Shining Fates were good, but Darkness Ablaze were a little cold. It's the Leaf Gym Trainer. So they're smoking pot. <laughs> Smoking that crazy oddish. Smoking with, with uh, gloom. Ryan says, he doesn't say if he has a bag. I'm assuming he does. I recognize his name. Ricardo, Ryan, Pieta, Ryan Pieta, Richard, Richard, Ramiro, Russ, Ran, Rob, Raul. You're getting a new bag. Trade for slab. Gloom smoking that grass. I appreciate the channel. Thank you for all that you do. I'm here every night. It is a little bit of a chore. Some nights, you know, I'm sitting there just laying on the couch with my wife watching TV. And I'm like, oh, we got to go. <laughs> Can't hang out anymore. It's a schedule, you know. This that's, that's half the difficulty of work, isn't it? Living life on a schedule. That's tough. Because if you could just work when you feel like working, work really wouldn't be that hard, would it? You know, like, let's say you work at uh, Walmart, for example. Somebody here probably does. And uh, you could just show up when you wanted and then clock out when you wanted. Well, work would be very easy. The hard part is showing up at the same time, whether you like it or not. That's the hard part, living life on a schedule. That's like half the difficulty right there. Next up, we got Jeremy Helmstatter. Four live custom boosters, four EV heroes, and four shiny fates. You got it. So pack number one, you're going to get these three booster packs as pack number one. Pack number two, Kangaskhan. Oh, mister. Togedemaru and whoop, Growlithe. Oh, that's a sweep. That's a cold one, mister. I'm sorry. So that's a cold round in the live customs. Four EV heroes, huh? One, two, three, four. Boop. And four Shining Fates. Don't worry, we'll get the hot ones right now, mister. It won't matter. How much is the Naughty Grimer? This Naughty Grimer, we just looked it up, is valued at $300. Buy it now, okay? That's the cheapest buy it now for this. He's a desirable card because he's uh, he's a literally a lewd Pokemon. And people go nuts for this card. And he's being given away for free. I'm giving him away to you guys. Who's excited for Stranger Things? Oh, is that coming out soon? They tend to come out in the summertime, don't, don't they? I'm excited for Stranger Things. Heck yeah. Sleep. Don't know. One pulled my second Umbreon. Get a tattoo of me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good luck on your pulls. I hope they're not cold. Because you got tough luck in the live customs, so we can't afford cold ones. Here's a Inteleon. That is cold. How about the Shiny Fates? Shiny Fates is never cold. Boop. Cinderace. <laughs> it, is, it is a cold one. Wow. Okay. No, that's fine. It's fine. Zamazenta V. So now we're really relying on your regular card order. Here's Sylveon. Never seen the show, but I saw they were doing Stranger Things skins in Smite. That's right. Also, Morgan Le Fay from the King Arthur novels uh, is a new character in Smite. For those of you who play Smite, Smite's kind of like League of Legends. And uh, I, I played it all day today, basically. 
I got some work done. I played some Smite. I played a lot of Smite. And then I went kayaking for a long time. I had a good day, actually. All right, here we go. Amazing Rare Reshiram. Man, those Shining Fates never let us down. Shining Fates is where it's at. Spinarak. Here's Galarian Farfetch'd Shiny. Hit number two. How about number three? Well, we also pick up a Delmise. Not really a big deal, but he's, he's a nice card. Did you pokey skinny dip, mister? I've not pokey skinny dipped, but we could. We could if we wanted to, we think. We think we could get away with it. All right, well, that round for Mr. Jeremy was quite cold. We don't have any... We don't have any uh, giveaway cards for the, uh, what do you call it? Pity pile. We don't have a pity pile. It's a free country, says Mike Side. So what I'll do for you is I'll give up one of my cards. If I can find one. Here's one. So you can add one of my EV for my EV uh, evolutions. You know, I've given away probably like 10 or 15 of these already. That's probably if they sell for ten bucks each, which I don't really know what they sell. I bet they sell for about seven bucks each. That's like already over eighty dollars worth of these. Look at that, restaurant far fetched. All right, better luck next time, Mister. And I, I, I gotta think of something to do about for the uh, pity pull pile. Two fifty. Okay, well they're not too crazy then. Well they probably go for a bit more if they grade ten. All right, so Mister Jeremy Helmstetter, new bag. He says, I have a bag. Sorry about your tough luck today. Let's find your bag. Pokemon Center has Professor William promo card. <gasps> I've got to have it. Nope, that's Jeremy Connell. Here we go, Jeremy Helmstadter. Mister, will you be my dad? All right, and I'll put you in the wheel for all my Poke cards. Your girl, Cray Cray. Cray Snorlax Dumper. What? What are we talking about? Mr. Cheese. Cheese says three EV heroes. You got it, Mr. Cheese. Cheese is next. Good luck, Cheese. Cheese is going for the grand prize. Toss. You pull Glaceon VMAX. Ooh, Glaceon. Cold. Flareon V. All right. Sweet. Mr. Cheese, a tale of fire and ice. Here we go, it's cheese. You know what we need to do sometime soon, guys? We got to open up the live chat soon and let you guys go nuts in there. Okay. Next up, we got Jonas Rosado. He says one large. You got it, Jonas. Well, oh, here we are. Say less, mister. <laughs> Keith needs the Pokey Rich Roll. I don't know if he'd be eligible for it. All right, toss this over here. I think he needs a little more time. Pokey Rich Roll is kind of hard to get, that's why. Next up, we got Mr. Ralph Dutcher. He says five EV heroes. Oh, well, mister, you're going to get these five right here. Let's see if Keith Dutcher gets lucky again. What's your thoughts on the Ancient Origin? Great set. Has a full art Lugia in it. Definitely one that's going to go up in price. And really, when I started buying them, they were like 400 a box. Here we go. What's up, Peak Gamer? He gets Marshadow. A cold one. Vaporeon. Ooh, Vaporeon. A cold one. And Eldegoss. No huge snipe this time, mister. I thought you had a good chance, actually. Your odds were pretty high. Call me Grey Wolf. All right. Mister, we only want Hot Pulse, said Joshua. Oh, Joshua, you should have told me that. I didn't know. He says, your body. Are we going to have chai tea? 
I want some chai and some chicken korma. He says, now it's Glaceon. Oops. I'm sorry. Mixing my pokey names up. Guess I'm not a true collector. <laughs> I'm just joking. Call me dad, please. Dad was my dad's name. Call me mister. I will make it with you. What? Mister, he paid for the resealed packs. <laughs> what? All right, there we go. Next up, we got Brandon Russell, who says one EV Heroes, Mr. Brandon, and two Silverlands, two Silver. Holy. Bring out the Silverlands. Silverlands. All right, let's see what happens. Sneep. How on earth did you get double charger pulls from five packs, though? That's insane. Well, that's why the video is so good, because you really don't expect it. Um, I can tell you how it happened, though. The reason it happened is because those packs are not coming out of a booster box. They're coming out of, like, Kanto power boxes, right? And what you can do is you can remove all the booster packs from, like, a Kanto power box, and they don't... I guess Nintendo doesn't really shuffle those up very well. Uh, you will see repeating cards sometimes, like repeating hit cards. I see them all the time. And it was just time for a hollow Charizard, double Charizard to pop out, like, within a minute. It was very lucky, and, uh, you know, it'll continue to be a cool video for a long time, probably. We got Sandaconda. Sweet. And Floor Jazz. All right. I see. That's cool. I've had one box that had all hits. Nice. Oops, all berries. That's for Brandon Russell. Brandon, you didn't say if you had a bag. Help me out, guys. When you make an order, let me know the status of your bag. Let me know if you have one or not. Really speeds the live stream up. Brandon Russell. Because now I'm going to start looking. Do I have to play Robox? Yes. Brian Garcia. Brogan. Brogan! Brian Cranis. Brandon Russell. Oh, Mr. Brandon got very lucky on his pulls, by the way. You guys probably forgot this. I think he pulled this on a single pack of EV Heroes. He pulled this Hyper Rare Sylveon. I was very jelly. Mr. has a Poke Monopoly. Hardly. Do you think the Tyranitar Alternative Art from Battle Styles would be a good card? I finally got mine. Yeah, definitely. Next up, we got Jose Perellas. He says... Uh, the upcharge for the Lugia. Sh three Shining Fates, he says. Oh, my. Well, mister, you should you should have said so. Here we go. I had opened one of those Canto boxes one time that I won in a bet. Opened it up in front of him, and it had two Hollows Arts in it, says Mr. Bababois. What? Nuh-uh. They were resealed. You twicked me with the resealed ones. Mr. probably loves Bacchus. He's so cheap. Bacchus is so annoying. Yeah, he's really powerful. I mentioned I only play assault mode. I know that sounds really funny. It sounds like I'm like super casual, but actually I take it really seriously. And uh, Bacchus is like one of the best tiered gods for assault. I feel like there's this, I feel like I like assault precisely because a lot of people don't take it seriously. So I feel like it's one of these unappreciated game modes. You know what I mean? All right. Unappreciated game mode. And so I take it real seriously. And, uh, you know, I think a lot about what the best gods are for that game mode. And really, Bacchus is top tier. Anti-heal on the, on the burp. Assault's all about sustain. I mean, if you can sustain and do, and do group damage, you've got an overpowered god. You know what I mean? Joshua says, do you play on Xbox? I'm thinking about... Yeah, I play on Xbox. I believe it's uh, it's definitely cross-platform now, by the way. Xbox players play with PC players. They're just mixed. Okay, so three Shining Fates, two Japanese Lost Thunder. All right, we got two Lost Thunder. Four Japanese EV heroes. You got it, mister. Four Japanese EV heroes. Two, three, four. Thanatos. Good God. Thanatos is pretty good. I like Thanatos. 
You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. <laughs> yeah, I play a lot of Assault. That's all I play. Can you say hi to me? I'm afraid tonight I can't, Caitlin. Uh, there are legal reasons. My lawyer said I can't say hi. Peek says, bro, I have an idea. Will you do work with me? You send cards in Pakistan. I make a shop of Pokemon. I sell here. We both get cash. Uh, I think that would be a bad idea because I'm not an actual card distributor. So I see what you're saying, though. I mean, keep in touch with me. Maybe if I ever get distributor prices, maybe we'll try something like that. I don't mind, I don't mind uh, some kind of setup like that. All the way out in Pakistan, huh? All right, here we go. Cold. I think I have to own a... Oh, look at this Entei. He's so fancy, dude. I think I would have to own a physical shop to get a distributor uh, permissions. So it's kind of a sad thing. I'm, I'm trying, though. Sylveon. Maybe I will open a physical shop. Cold. When you guys move out here to, to Lake of the Ozarks and, and tell me you'll run a shop for me and I'll just supply you with the cards. And then, because the problem for me is I need to stay here and keep running the live stream. So I can't beat three people. That's my problem. Grookey, look at this Grookey. He's such a little monkey. Oh, man. Here's, oh, double hit. Bird Keeper and Galarian Sir Fetched. I think you just need a website, says Mr. Pokey Dragon. Boop. A community ran card shop. And here's more Peko. So I don't know how well a card shop would do out here, though. Um, you know, it's not real high traffic in Lake of the Ozarks, except for, like, when tourism begins, apparently. They call it off-season when there's no tourists coming in. So probably, like, winter's pretty dead, pretty bored. A lot of people come out here uh, to their second home, their vacation home, for, like, the shootout. The shootout is where they race bo boats on the lake. Now you need a brick and mortar during these times. Distributors only wanting physical stores. Yeah, I kind of ran into the same problem, unfortunately. But, you know, what I haven't done is I haven't applied to all the distributors across America because I, I think that you don't have to apply for the ones closest to you. I suspect you can apply to any of them. All right, Mr. Jose Perales. Ta-da! I like your grookey. I live in Portland. Not a single good car store up here. Yeah, for sure. Jose Flores. Do you need a bag, Mr. Jose Perales? Couldn't your room be considered a physical store? Uh, I wish, but probably, probably it would not count. That's a good question. Do they, do they know? I mean, I feel like they could look that up. Joseph, Jonathan, Joshua, Jose, Mr. Ride on, ride on these nuts. That's a good one. I might have to save that for a title. Here we're all winners. The distributors get kind of personal with a bunch of info. Do they? All right, so we got Joshua, Johnny Pyres. We're looking for Jose Perales. You like Wendy's? I do not. Joshua, Jonathan, John Hincapi, John... I like mixed nuts. What? Okay, so I really need you guys to start telling me in the in the PayPal messages whether or not you have a bag. Do you ever think war, just because our ancestors went to war, that's why there's always some new type of war? Um, the reason there's always a war is because people are competing for resources. And sometimes it's a religious-driven war as well. Those are the two main reasons. Land and religion. Ideology, you might call it. Jose Perales. People get real into that kind of stuff. There we go. All right. It's Cap JP, remember? Oh, you got a bag under Cap JP, huh? So I'm going to say bag number two on this then, and whenever you request shipping... I will need to try and locate that. He says, no bag. Oh. 
Oh, well, uh, sorry. Let me uh, scratch this out. I knew you were Cap JP, but I, I was trying to figure out if you had a bag or not. All right, there we go. So we don't use nicknames anymore. We use real names now, and this is a much better system because if I ever need to send you an email or something, I can just look up your name in PayPal. I think the best bet with TCC would be to try and partner with the card store in the area. If the distributors are causing issues, but partnerships can be rough. That is a actually a good idea. Maybe I should look up and see if there are any card distributors out here and ask them if they can hook me up. Hmm. All right, next up, we got Jonathan Morris, who says, 13 EV Heroes. The rest is a tip. Thank you, mister. I have a bag. Oh, thanks, man. 13 EV Heroes. You got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hey, look at that. I grabbed exactly 13. It's hard to do. 13, your lucky number. Sneep. As long as it's just the tip. The tip is not cheating. That is how it is, guys. All right. Sneep. Mr. Pokey Dragon. I just thought, man, what if all those names rubbed off on the bags? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> how does the metal card work? We can pick any card from any set. You make the metal card out of it. Can I see an example? Uh, no, that's not true. They're already made. And here's an example of a metal card. Actually, my favorite metal card, let me show you guys. My favorite metal card is definitely the Charizard First Edition. But the Illustrator is a good example, too, of a metal card you might consider. So really, if you think about the Illustrator, the Illustrator is like a half million dollar card. You're never going to own one. You're never even going to own a raw Illustrator. You know, you're not going to find one. You're really only going to be buying um, a fake one. That's the only one you're going to have in your collection because these are so exceptionally expensive and rare. So it's like eight bucks and you can just pop it in your folder and have something to look at or you can play around with it. This is the Charizard first edition. He's one of my favorite ones. I feel like he really pops and uh, it's just for, just for fun. I have a few already made and those are the only ones available. If one was really popular, I, I suppose I could request to, to have it manufactured though. All right, here we go, cold. Mister, how many people in the NFL Optic? It hasn't changed since last time. However, I've made it more obvious in the menu, okay? So it's higher up in the menu. And when something's high up in the menu, people see it more easily. Cold. Do you have the Latios, Latios Alt Art from Team Up where they make the heart? Oh, uh, why, yes, I do. It's in the large. Yeah. So uh, I'll show it off right now. Here it is. Gem Mint, Latios, Latios. Can't really see it too well through the bag. There we go. So that's in the large. And uh, you have a 1 in 29 odds of pulling him out of the large for $40. $700 card. No, I mean in the metal card. Oh! <laughs> I do not. If enough people requested it, I could get that made, though. Oh, here we go. Another Leafeon Secret Rare Leafeon. Congratulations. Well, maybe there'll be a hyper rare in the rest of these packs. It's possible. Cold. Here's Grimmel Snarl. Joramo says, ooh. Anytime you can pull one of the secret rares, you're doing well. Here's another Leafeon. He's very leafy. Leafeon, use Leaf. Can you get the Rocket Snorlax metal card? Ooh, well, I could probably get the Jungle Snorlax. I think that would be a little bit better. So many Flareons. I know! All that goes down into the junk box. This goes into the trash can, not to be recycled. You got these lovely hollows. Which slab do you like best, PSA or CGC? Oh, by far the CGC slab. I just don't know who makes it for them. I wish I could figure that out, because if I could, um, I would actually use, I, I would use the CGC slab for card grading, not the PSA slab. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the PSA slab. It's a very standard slab, you know what I mean? It, it does exactly what it set, sets out to do. I just like the heft of the CGC slab, and it, it almost looks a little more clear. Our Marquez says, I request a Weedle metal card. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> you got it. I wonder if I could put my signature on a card, and they could turn that into a metal card. Huh. So... For Mr. Jonathan Morris, you did well, Jonathan. You picked up the the uh, secret rare. Very good. 
Alex says, I need something signed. We still have that signed shuckle. Think I should put that in auction? Thinking about putting that in auction. Can I get a box of EV Heroes with some of my credit? Tyler Limehouse has a $440 credit with me. He's now going to get a box of EV Heroes. This box. So we're going to mark this out. And uh, now it becomes $230. Tyler sold me some of his PSA slabs. I think he got a very fair price for them. All right. I'll trade the yellow energy card. <laughs> Pick Lamborghini or Ferrari. Uh, you know, I'd probably, I wouldn't buy either of those. I'd put my money into Pokemon cards. How do you get credit? You just have to go, me, 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 and then I hand credit out. All right. Good luck, Tyler. There's only credit for people that have made trades with Mister. Yeah, that's store credit. You can trade for it, or there's there's other other ways you might obtain it. I might offer a tiny discount if you send in like a thousand thousand dollars of cash or check. I might be able to offer you like a like a three percent discount store credit. You know what I mean? So like if you sent in a thousand dollars you would get more than $1,000 in store credit. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but for some people, they go real deep over time. And if they could do that, they would probably catch like $100 or 200. I don't know how much it would actually be. Sit down and do the math. 30 bucks. Oh, you're right. It'd probably be like 30 bucks. Still, 30 bucks is 30 bucks, right? All right, here we are. And that's because we'd be dodging some of that PayPal fee. Hold. What do you do with the energy? It says Pete Gamer. Uh, give them all to you, mister. What do we got? Here's Grimmel Snarl. Here's Flareon. Ew. How nice. Hey, mister, have you thought about hiring someone to run your eBay Pokey store? Yeah, I, I mean, I'd love to have somebody work with me, to tell you the truth. I just, I don't know. It's like, it's not a top priority for me to put something like that together. Here's Jolteon. I really want energies for playing game. It says Pete Game. Pete Gamer. You're here every day. You're hired. Get over here, Alex. All right, Alex. I'm bundling all my PSA slabs and sending them to you to get them sold on eBay. Here it is. Umbreon. <laughs> hand off like $10,000 of slaps to him. Whew, that's a high level of trust, really. Marshadow. Cold. Now, I, I don't really need somebody to help me with my eBay store. I don't really sell anything on eBay, to tell you the truth. You know, I'll sell like some bulk, and that's about it. And uh, it's real simple bulk, too. I just have like these little elite trainer boxes. They pile up in a, look, look what happens. They pile up in a big pile. There they are all on the floor. Those are all empty. And I was just throwing those away for a while. So now I just fill them up with bulk. And that's what I do with those. Otherwise, they go in a trash can because I don't have time, you know. Holy crap, how many Eevee Heroes was ordered? This is a whole box of Eevee Heroes. He could do another box, actually. You want to do another box, Tyler? We got Vaporeon. Look at this Vaporeon. Bro, you only like to collect cards or you also like to play cards? Well, I do know how to play the game. And when I was younger, I played the game like crazy when I was younger. But as an adult, I play video games. Mister, you can pay me in Diggy. Oh, there you go. Ultra Rare Inteleon. Excellent pull. Look at that. Fantastic. There's the hot card in the box. I think that's a pretty sweet pull, man. Mister, if something was serious about working working for you and moving there, would you really fix up the garage apartment for them? Yeah, I'd actually consider it. Um, well, I don't think that I could have someone live in my garage because the garage, the, what he's talking about, I've got this garage. 
It's enormous. It's a garage designed to house like a couple boats probably. And it's got an upstairs with the patio, but it's got no bathroom. And what I could do is I could build a bathroom, I could build a kitchen, uh, I could attach another part to it where it's like a full, full on house and it would be like a second property. But the thing is, I really do appreciate my privacy, so I don't think I could do that with somebody I'm working with. We'd just be living too close, you know what I mean? Uh, but th something I am pretty serious about is maybe opening up a card shop out here in uh, either Camdenton. So there's the Camdenton area, and uh, the other area would be Osage Beach. Those are the two areas I would consider. Uh, probably Osage Beach is the better option because they, ju they just have more people. Uh, this area doesn't have as many people. And so if somebody moved to a cheap house within the, uh, you know, within the range of the Osage area, I could have them run a card shop. And uh, that's a very serious issue because I, I, prob I could just bankroll it right now. I, I could sell off my cards, not buy any nice things for myself. I can actually pull out a pretty sizable loan with PayPal. PayPal offers me something called a, a business loan. And uh, it can it can get pretty large. I guess PayPal trusts me a lot from everything I've done. Uh, I've been with PayPal for like 17 years. So they, they'll offer me a pretty large business loan if I ask for it. I've already tested it actually. I've pulled out a business loan with PayPal before. It's pretty simple. And uh, so yeah, I could bankroll probably the opening of a card shop. The question then is, I can't manage one. I just don't have time. Like I can't be at a, I can't be at a Pokemon card store all day because I'm over here doing shipping and receiving and, you know, uh, I do the late night stream, which is three hours every night, but there's some preparation and all that. So I'm, I'm already basically full-time employed. I don't wanna drive all the way out to Osage Beach and try to work eight hours over there as well. Does that make sense? Like maybe I could drive over there for three hours, but I couldn't, I couldn't be over there all day. So that's the problem with trying to start up a Pokemon card store, like a physical location. Simple solution, just fill the car, the garage with Pokemon cards. You need a team, then people to help train, and the right people. Do it at the store. Mister, I hate to kill a sexy dream, but physical stores are are much so much overhead, says Jeromo. You're probably right. What if you live stream from the card store? Uh, yeah, we could do that. I don't know why I would give up the comfort of my own home. It's much better to stream here. You know, everything's here, and when I'm when I'm all done with work, I just clock out. You know, I just walk right out of my work room, and I'm, I'm home. So there's, there's all kinds of advantages to having it here. Plus, I can work on this all day long anytime I want. That's the other advantage, because I live here. So Tyler Limehouse, let's see if we can find your bag real fi fast, Mr. Tyler. Sell sport cars and other types of hobby boxes. Nitro says, please stop spamming. So Tyler, did you already have a bag? I can't remember if Tyler Limehouse got shipped recently, but I feel like he got re shipped recently. My biggest concern is that it wouldn't get enough uh, traffic out here but you never know actually tyler lambert tyler root tyler stites teddy christ travis you know, I, I i wouldn't be surprised if it actually was successful because there's actually there's a lot of poor people out here in lakes lake st louis but there's also a lot of wealthy people at the same time and people come out here to have fun and uh, there's not a lot of shops out here. There's not a lot of fun stores to go to. So a card shop could uh, have very little competition, in fact. Why don't you get someone to run this live two week, two times a week so you have some time off, says Big Goozer. Uh, yeah, I've thought about that. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable working seven days a week already. I've gotten used to it. Uh, the, the trick is to just have some fun time every single day. So it's just kind of like this loop, play, work, play, work, play, work, no, no off days, just play, work. And uh, that would be nice. It would be really hard to do that. What I could do is just take two days off and not stream it for two days. If you partner with a shop from another state, do you think the shipping would be too high, says Targon Tavern? No, not necessarily. I mean, if I was partnering with a store, here's the deal. I could buy boxes from them all day long, basically, because every night there's a certain amount of volume we do, and it's very consistent. In fact, we sell cards very consistent. And so I can guarantee that shop that I'm gonna buy cards from them. 
they would just have to offer me a better rate than what I can find. Okay, so I know, uh, I already know card shops. Uh, I've spoken to card shop owners. And so I have various methods of obtaining cards already. You would need to offer me a price that beats all those other guys. And then I would just buy from you. You see what I'm saying? And the shipping, shipping's always the same. It's always part of the calculation. All right, Tyler Limehouse. New bag for you, mister. Congratulations on that nice pull. Sweet. Tyler, one of those Charizards you handed me off will probably go into the large in the next round. All right, Tyler, I put you up top as well. Great questions, by the way. Really fun topic. So we have 170 people watching. Let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway again. Everyone, we're doing a giveaway for this beautiful Naughty Grimer from 1997, a highly desirable card from the Team Rocket collection. You might already recognize him from the English version of this set, but with the vintage Japanese set, his eyes were looking up, and there's this girl walking by, so people, you know, when it came to the West, they banned that. They made his eyes look forward because it looks too much like he's he's taking a peek, you know, peep, peeping Tom. So this is considered a banned card, and uh, it's highly desirable, and this one's valued at about $300. This is the giveaway card. Uh, we're going to be giving it away. There's instructions at the top of the description on how to join the giveaway. It's real simple. You leave a message in our uh, video that I've linked to, and I even tell you what the comment should be. You also do have to be subscribed, okay? So if you win and you're not subscribed, I have to take it away. So please don't miss out on that. That happened to the last person, okay? We had a, a Colossal and Rillaboom, and a guy won. He wasn't subscribed. I, it's very simple. Uh, but he wasn't subscribed, and I, I, had, I took it away and gave it to the next guy. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, and uh, good luck to whoever wins that. It's the biggest thing I've given away so far. Liam says, how are you, mister? I'm just on my way to work. It's 7 a.m. here in the U.K. The U.K., $300, says Bull City. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an expensive card. People really like Naughty Grimer. Okay, I can see that quite a few orders have come in. Let's see what's happening, uh, what we're opening next. We just got that box done for Tyler Limehouse. Busy night, for sure. This is, uh, by the way, this is Castle Crashers music in the background. Here we are, Jonathan Morris. Good. So next up, we have Mike Spanos, who says, a spot in large. You got it, Mike. Mr. Mike, change the slab, says Ricardo. Sounds good. All right, Mr. Mike, you're in the large. What's the biggest thing you've ever given away? Might be that. I'm not sure. Is it that? I think it's that. There we go. We do periodic giveaways, everyone. No, that's not true. The biggest thing I ever gave away... Wasn't that a $600 Charizard? That's the biggest thing. They pulled it out of the live custom booster box, remember? That was a while back. It was a $600 Charizard. That's the largest thing. All right. So we're done with Mr. Mike. Next up, we got Steven Dimas. He wants three packs of the 1920 hoops. All right, you got it. First hoops of the night. I don't think we've pulled the Zion William. Williamson. We have not pulled the Zion Williamson. Didn't you sneak a Char Charizard? <laughs> That's right. Mr. Rand's Charizard. Going to Mount Zion for his pull. <laughs> what? Okay, Frank. Quinn Cook. All right. Sometimes this card is a hot card. Sometimes it's a rookie, but this time it was not. Here's Quinn Cook. Oh, look at that. So this is the special hollow, huh? I guess this means that this one's actually supposed to be kind of rare. So that fourth card is always the special card. But sometimes the third card is also pretty decent. I guess this time it wasn't. Domantis, Evan Fournier. Here we go. Kevin Porter, rookie. And backstage pass, Jaron Jackson Jr. What? Does Quip cook? That's sexist. She does. She's not very good at cooking, but that's okay. I do all the cooking. I cooked steak and, and uh, mushroom and onion, onions tonight. Portobello mushrooms. We got Gary Harris, Pascal Siakam. She's learning. Dwayne Wade and Tyler Johnson. 
There you go, mister. Mister is a soup man. I, I'm pretty big on soups. I really like soups. And if you ever came over here and I cooked a meal, I'd blow your mind with my soups. I see the hollow. The dude was chilling on his phone and someone took a pic and they made it into a card. <laughs> That's right. Mr. Stephen Demas. Did you get the good ones? Here we are, Stephen Demas. He's already been open some of these. Quip makes a mean bowl of cereal. She has been doing some cooking recently. She made tacos using a little taco kit from the store. She made some hamburger helper. She's all into ground beef. I'm not as big into ground beef. Next up, we got Daniel Ortiz. He says, Silver Lance. Here you go, Mr. Daniel. Oh, Daniel, I would give you the Silver Lance song, but you only bought one of them. And that's not enough to trigger the song. You love Hamburger Helper. Uh, we had Hamburger Helper, and it just wasn't that good. I was like, what is this? I want the freeze mortars. Now we have Alejandro Garcia, who wants one EV Heroes. All right, one in 30 odds, right? Show me that snipe. Uh, it's a cold one. Sorry, mister. Next up, we got Nick, Nick Wieg. Mr. Nick, you didn't leave me a note. Nick, what do you want? <laughs> Just like unexpected, never left me a note. Nick Wieg. 84. Mr. Nick, what were you ordering? Did you open my second order of two EV Heroes yet? Not sure if I missed it. Uh, probably not. There's a lot of orders. Mr. Baba Block says 12 EV Heroes. Does that add up? It does add up. Okay, you got it. 12 Eevee Heroes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sweet. Mister, isn't Stranger Unexpected made a 200 order than dipped? Where'd he go? He'll be around. Unexpected is an old customer. He's been coming here for a while. How do I order bulk cards and how big is the box? Uh, I have this new thing called the, the junk box, and the junk box is a priority mailbox where I just toss the cards in, no padding, no special protection. Probably great for just playing around with. The minimum price on that is $17 unless someone uh, offers over that price. So let's say you and another guy wants to buy the junk box from tonight, and uh, I can't sell it to both of you guys. So if, if somebody wants it, they could say, well, I'll offer 19 and then it will go to him unless you offer more than 19. All right, here we are. We've got Eldegoss. Here's Zora Rourke. Ooh. Auction off the junk. Yeah, well, normally this was all being thrown away. And I... Oh, you did it! It's the Aroma Girl. She's so cheerful. She's like the opposite of a blue-haired feminist, I suppose. Well, anyways, I was throwing all that stuff away. And... I looked in my dumpster one time. I'm like, oh my God, you could build Bulk City out of this bulk. It's got to be worth something. So I figure if you guys will cover the cost of the shipping in a few more dollars, I'll ship it out to you guys. Surprisingly, she's pretty cheap. You better not talk about my waifu that way. Here's Marshadow. Well, really, she's struggling to compete with all these alternative arts from the uh, other EV heroes. Okay, here's Glaceon. Ooh. If I donate money to you, do you think you could donate them to, like, a children's hospital or something? Oh, you mean the uh, cards? Well, uh, I've been told that children's hospitals won't take already opened cards. But, I mean, we could try. I don't mind trying. Oh, you mean donating the book. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I, well, I could certainly make an attempt. I don't know if they have, like, those kinds of children hospitals out here, like the ones where they do cancer research. and I could be wrong, though. I don't know a lot about it. I've actually never done it before. Ta-da! Congratulations! You pulled the secret rare, Mr. Nick Wieg. Let's go find your bag, Nick. Where am I going to find Nick? I love this music. This is the popcorn music. You remember this? The little corn cob guy? I think it was. Well, I think also the cat had this music. Here we go, Nick Wieg. 
Hello, sir. How you been? What's up, Sweezy? Imagine if you sold the Tech Deck BMX bikes. I wonder if there are community centers or something that will take them. We got to get the kids to keep playing pokies. That's right. Eric Guzman says five EV heroes. All right, give me a minute. Mr. Eric, let me open a new box. Very thoughtful of you, Targon. So do I just make an offer here, says Elijah. Uh, you make an offering to the gods, yes. The gods prefer that you slice a goat in half. The kids are our future. Unfortunately, they aren't going to play with bulk Japanese. Yeah, I agree, actually. I agree. One, two, three, four. And one more. Five. Here we go. Anyone ever play the 7-Up games on Super Nintendo? Me, 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 me. Hey, mister. Hope everyone's doing well. I got back from camping and finally have service. Sweet. Welcome back from camping. That's right. It's summertime and people are out doing things. Wonder what, I wonder if we'll get more viewers in the winter. Ooh, good question. This is cold. Oh, cold. Cold? Oh, man. Oh, sweet. You do pick up Sylveon V. I was getting scared for you there, Eric. Could get a cold, a straight cold round. I've seen it happen. Boop. Band camp. Send me to band camp. Snorlax, he's also a mod because he's using the wrench when he talks. That's how it works, guys. According to the president, it's going to be a dark winter. I remember that. Edwin, Everett Treminio, Eric Guzman. Have you noticed more V-card pulls? I've noticed, uh, no, it seems like a typical box. That Grimer looking up that skirt, though. I know, he's so inappropriate. Mr. Manuel Garcia wants two EV heroes. You got it, Mr. Manuel Garcia. Biden cut back school vacation to one month. Really? Sneak. Worst president ever. He took away my school vacation. God. <laughs> I also wanted Lost Thunder. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Three Lost Thunders. I knew that. I was just testing you, mister. I knew that. You passed the test, Mr. Eric. Alex Ranch is bigger than mine. Not fair. <laughs> Sneep. Now he's getting a Lugia, hopefully. Cold. Cold. And... Meganium. All right, Meganium. Yeah, it was tough. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Eric, Mr. Goozer, you had a tough round this time. Maybe next time it will be super hot. Make a proxy card of the Grimer. I don't know if people would buy that, though. All right. So, Mr. Manuel Garcia, you pull. Swampert. Mr., do you want to trade for a pink Pikachu? Pink Pikachu? This is a cold round as well. I'm sorry, Mr. Garcia. Manuel Garcia. I'll trade for a pink pu I bet it's pink. All right. Randall Miller, three EV heroes. Randall Miller, I got a bag. You got a bag. There you go. Pink what? <laughs> Sneep. All right, we pull. A cold one. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, yeah, it is cold. I was right. I was right. Also cold and <gasps> Flareon. Woohoo! Pink Ligma. That's right. A pink right on these nuts. Xbox will be having another game show this Thursday. So soon? That's too soon. I'm not ready. You think they'll talk about. What do they call it? Uh. Elder Scrolls, finally. Come on, Xbox. Freaking Xbox. Do something, Xbox. Dude, I watched the uh, trailers for Halo. Not not excited at all, actually. It's just It just looked like more of the th same, honestly. Looked like more of the same. I wish they would innovate. They never do. They never do. I like this Charizard being here. 
Minecraft Dungeons. That's right. They'll be like, Minecraft Dungeons. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Greninja. Gregory Mountford. Hello. Had some cold hits. Let's try to change that. Gregory Mountford, you're GJM, right? Two Eevee heroes, one Japanese tag team. Sounds good. And one tag team. What would you want from a Halo game, mister? I want them to offer, like, better PvE game modes and just all around a lot more innovation. The big innovation here seems to be you've got, like, a grappling hooked. It, it, that's, like, such an old idea. They had that idea back on the GameCube with... Uh, oh, here we go, Umbreon VMAX with one of the uh, James Bond games. I can't remember. Yeah, they're just... Uh, they're really disappointing me. By the way, I watched, like, the story trailer teaser, and it looked just so boring. It's, you know, it's some snippety Cortana digital girl again, except this time not naked. It's just like, I, man, I don't know. The original Cortana was like this naked lady. It felt adult. It felt edgy. And now the new one just feels kind of like so boring and deprived of, I don't know. It, it, it feels like it's just going to be a typical piece of, it feels like corporate garbage, to be honest. I watched it. I was watching real careful. Everything felt cliche. Everything felt dry. Nothing really got me hyped or excited. And uh, when I played the original Halo, you know, as a kid, it like shocked me that the Cortana character was like all sexual and everything. And for some reason, like we're going backwards. We're becoming more modest with our art. We're, we're saying, cover that up. Don't look at that. Don't look sexy. So... I think she's going to replace Cortana as the main, like, girl character in the story mode, and I have no interest. Hey, uh, the Master Chief character, I don't even know why I'm supposed to like him. He just seems like, I don't know. He seems like, you know, he's supposed to be, like, the super soldier, but he doesn't act like a super soldier. He doesn't act like when he's just like, burr, 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 you know, and he doesn't, he just says a lot of nothing. I'm mysterious. You don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to save the world. All right, Gregory Mountford, let's find your bag. No, I was I was very disappointed with it. You know, when I watched uh, the when I watched the trailer for Elden Ring, it gave me goosebumps. The music was shocking, the visuals was shocking, the story seems promising, right? Everything about it looked good. I watched the Halo trailer and I was like, oh, he's floating through space. That's cool. Oh, look, the girl, oh, blah blah blah, Cortano 2.0. She's gonna talk your head off. They're going to talk about a bunch of stuff you don't care about and blah, blah, blah. And I, I was like so bored of it right away. I'm still disappointed in Space Jam 2 and how Lola Bunny is no longer made for the male gaze. Tag team isn't on the menu, says Elon Musk. That's true. Tag team, uh, we used to sell a lot of tag team and I have three cases of it sitting in a corner right now. But it was selling very slowly earlier and so we removed it. All right. Next up, we got Caesar Soto. He wants a live custom and six EV heroes. Yeah, I was bored watching the Halo commercial. And then I watched the multiplayer. I was like, well, maybe the multiplayer will get me. I was bored. I was like, what is this? We brought back gear. Whoa! My mind's blown. Here it is. What do we got? Payu Kumuku. I'm sorry, mister. Mister going to open the tag team for himself. That's right. And we're going to play the Master Chief Collection. Me, 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 me. Where's that shiny Greninja price? I don't have it. I don't have it yet. When, if the stream slows down, if we run out of orders, I'll get him priced up, okay? Sneep. Was I calling the team up? Tag team? I might have I might have done that by accident. All right, Caesar Soto. I wish I could say I was excited for Halo. It just, I don't know. I don't know. Pack number, look at this, it's Entei. Pack number five, cold. And pack number six, Grimmel Snarl. Oh, that's such a cold round, Mr. Caesar. I'm so sorry. Caesar Soto got a really tough round, everyone. Too bad we don't have a pity pull pile. Here you go, Caesar. Have some of my tops cards, some of my moldy tops cards. We need some Cosmic. Cosmic Eclipse was removed because people were searching the box. So that is the problem with Cosmic. 
Caesar Soto. Cosmic is now one of those boxes that we could do like a box break on. Kind of like Lost Thunder. Mr. Caesar, I'm looking for your bag in the overflow. I suspect it's over here, but no, I did not find it. Let me check up top. Have the packs been weighed? Which packs? Grab this over here. Wait, do we ship you, Caesar? Oh, he says new bag. We shipped him. Okay, new bag. I'm sorry for the tough start, man. How do people search boxes? Wait for a load, a couple pulls. TCC cut my SV49. Look it up. How do you search a box? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to explain it. Let's go ahead and get the line moving, though. Caesar Soto. Can't have anything nice with these snipers. Well, it's not really easy to search anything on this channel. I can tell you that. Because I've been doing this for a while and I know how it works. Next up, we got Alexio One Live Custom Booster for Alexio Alvarez. Mr. Alexio. Oh, what's this? Doot. Two XY base set. Oh, mister. What a nice pull. Mr. Alexio. So we're gonna add you to the list now. You got two spots. Spots number nine and 10. Oops. When this list reaches to 18, this will jump up to $62, okay? We're gonna go back to the original $62 at that point. You also have to understand the unknown though being you have no clue when and what everyone else has ordered. True. Uh, but actually, the, well, let's go ahead and keep going. Next up, we got Mr. Carl Carl, who says, one in the large. You got it, Mr. Carl Carl. Sweet. You know what you can't snipe? Something you'll never be able to snipe is the large because we don't open the packs until they're all sold. And that is a very good system. It's, it's basically a box break, and box breaks are not snipeable. All right, you're in, Mr. Carl Carl. Next up, we got a large order from Jeremy Helmstadter. Five live custom boosters. Wow, that's deep. All right. One, two, oh, three, four, oh, five. All right. Well, that seemed to have worked out. You ended on a hit, which is ideal. That's what you need, right? Let's see what you get. One in the large and a PSA 10 dot, dot, dot. Uh, that's because it had no number. So that's going to be 19. Welcome to the large, Mr. Jeremy. Is this still Castle Crashers? This must have been like the end music or something. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty close to the end. Simple site. Online menu. Let's restart. All right, we restart the music. And I believe you have pulled this card here. This is Hidden Fates Reverse Hollow Fairy Energy, PSA 10. All right, very nice. People were asking me for that one and I didn't sell it to them because I wanted to toss it into the live custom boosters because it's such a nice card. We'll go ahead and sleeve these up and I'll go ahead and get your name down. Very, very few of these have ever been graded and I personally have graded, I think four out of the ones that exist in the population. How nice, mister. All right. And this goes into your bag. I know you're a big fan of the pink energy cards. Jeremy probably says, I bet it's pink. Oh, 
Okay, next up we got Connor Gillespie who says one live custom booster. Mr. Jeremy Connor, uh, not Jeremy, Connor Gillespie. Judge Whistle, ah, oh, boosh. Smells like brony in here. Brr. Welcome, brother, to the cloppening. Connor Gillespie, should I go deep on unis again? You gotta pull the Mewtwo. Deep, deep, deep. Deep on unis. Hey, mister, how does the large work? The way the large work works, there's 29 total booster packs. We sell all 29 of them before we open them. When they're all sold, I immediately start to open the booster packs. Everyone will probably get like a hollow, not really, you know, very valuable. But then three people will pull the big hits, right? Those would be the three slabs. So your odds are three and 29. Uh, it's low odds, you know, but it's not like it's low as, let's say, the lottery. The lottery is really, really low. And uh, yeah, so you have a much higher chance of pulling a holographic card that is valued less than a dollar. And that would be you losing your $40. Your $40 goes to fund the uh, really good pulls in the the booster box. That's how the whole thing works. Amos says, can I see what's in my bag? Amos, where do we have your bag, Amos? Are you up here? Adam, Anthony, Alexio. All right, here we go. Mr. Amos Castros, Castro's bag. Hitmonchan. You got some Evolutions. Charizard. This really good card. Jirachi. Some Dragon Ball. Charmeleon, Arcanine, Mega Charizard, oops, sorry, light was on it, Reverse Hollow Pikachu, that's a big hit, Gyarados is decent, there you go, wow, you've been opening up a lot of evolutions, where's that hollow Charizard though, that's the card you need, huh, did you see Jon Stewart on the Stephen Colbert show, yeah, wasn't he in the news or something like that, because people were mad at him, he said something about COVID, Next up, we got James Gower. James Gower says, two EV heroes. You got it, Mr. James. You have any Togepies? I don't think I have Togepies. TCC, did you put an order in the correct bag? The video's lagging, you can't tell. Gregory Mountford is not GJM. Oh, oh, mister. Well, I'm glad you said something. Why did I think that he was? making sure. I thought Gregory Mountford was GJM. I'm glad you said something. I think I'm going to have to get rid of the GJM bag. You know, the GJM bag actually breaks one of my own rules. No nicknames. GJM's a nickname. Five hours for the bathroom. Gregory Mountford. Wow, good catch, man. I would have owed Gregory a card. Here we go. Woo! I'm trying to remember what GJM's real name is now. John Stewart brought you the lab leak theory, and Colbert was freaking out. Really? Are there people on the left who still completely reject the lab leak theory? Wasn't our, it our own intelligence community that said that it's possible that it leaked out of the lab? All right, Mr. James Gower, good luck. How much for the Torkoal? I don't have a price on that one, TG. Too much time on the toilet. Come on, Alex. Alex, you said you were on a diet. What's up, Sprite? Here's Swampert. Mister, you say you invested deeper in Evos. How many boxes did you buy? A bazillion boxes. Two hollows. Come on, man. Where's the hot ones? Sorry, Mr. James. Just two hollows on these two packs. Mister, is my bag still in the L box? As I may get. Very likely, Liam. Unless you had me ship you. Now the narrative flipped, and it's okay to talk about it. Well, you know, I, I kind of understand. You know, when Donald Trump initially said it, it was politically expedient for him to say that kind of stuff. You know, like, oh, I'm being attacked in my presidency. And we, did, we probably hadn't really gathered that much data on whether or not it was actually true. But it's more of just a hunch he was running on. And uh, it's a pretty big accusation, too, by the way. 
because if it's actually true, if it did leak out of their lab, I mean, I don't know what that means for the world, but it means that China owes owes quite a, a bit to a lot of countries. So if it was true, it'd be devastating for, for China. And well, and it depends on if all the other countries hold China responsible, you know what I mean? That torque was 235, nice. 235. It's 235, mister, you didn't know? So, but, you know, Donald Trump, he was saying what, what was probably best for him and his campaign at the time, and there probably wasn't any real consensus around what happened, but now they're actually saying, hey, you know, this might have some credibility to it, and uh, of course it does, because it's like, it's, it's way too coincidental that there's this big leak coming out of a Wuhan coronavirus lab, and what what do we get? We get COVID coronavirus. It's a lab that studies coronaviruses. Hello? No, it was a guy eating bat soup. Come on, guys, get with the program. Mr. Miguel Velasquez says one spot in the large. Oh, Mr. Miguel. So I don't really care what the Democrats or the Republicans have against each other on the subject. You know, if China really did leak a virus intentionally or unintentionally, I mean, we got to hold them responsible. That's a big deal. You know, you can't you can't accidentally release a plague on the world and just be like, oh, remember that one time? That one time millions died because you did something? Oh, well. That can't be, you know what I mean? So Republicans and Democrats have to set their differences aside on this subject. If it's true, it's a big deal. Miguel, good luck, Mr. Mike Side. He also wants three Eevee heroes. You got it? Well, they've been pretty cold for it so far. Maybe you got some hot ones. You might get lucky. Mr. Mike Sai, he got lucky earlier with the Glaceon. Goblin says, I'm a mod. I knew it. We've got Leafeon. Ooh, it's Leafeon. Here's a cold one. And not this time, Mr. Mike Side. Must be in the next pack. The one right immediately after yours. <laughs> Mike Side with the self destruct. There we go. Now we have an order from Mr. Ralph Dutcher. He says seven heroes. You got it, Mr. Ralph. All right, we got three. And four. If I'm not here one night, you know who to call. No! <laughs> what, Dairy Queen? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Dairy Queen is so expensive, man. How do they get away with charging $4 for the smallest cup of ice cream? But I, I guess that's how it is. You know, you go there, they stir it up into a yummy ice cream. I guess I can't argue against that. I've had a few Dairy Queen ice creams. <laughs> All right, one. Mr. Ante's number two. Here's Raichu. Ooh. Cold. Hold. Here we go. Umbreon. Oh, mister. Do you think base prices for PSA, do I think the prices will go up? Probably. And cold. Woo! Those EV boxes heating up. That's what I'm thinking. Nobody's gotten lucky. You know what that means. It's the next pack. Sometimes the boxes manage to go on for a little while with no hypers being pulled. Mister, when is your birthday? I turn 33 in April uh, of next year. Next year, so I'm still 32. Mister Mason Dixon Dickens, he says 10 EV heroes. You got it, Mister Mason, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to have to raise prices on EV Heroes. I restocked on them, and they're already like, I don't know what to say. Like, we're going to run out <laughs> before another restock comes. How you guys buy them so fast? How long is the wait time? I'm trying to keep it short. 
Uh, I don't know, actually. I'm guessing about a half hour at least, at the very least. All right, here we are. We've got Raichu. Look at that Raichu. Here's Glaceon. Ooh, Glaceon. Ooh. We got a little Glaceon. Sylveon. All right, Sylveon. Hold. Mr. PSA already said they're opening on a tiered approach, meaning lowest levels won't open right away. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Secret Rare Espeon. Have we seen this one yet? I think this is a new one for us. I've not seen this one. No, I have. I've seen this one. It's got a little bit of a splotchy background. I don't know how I feel about the splotchy background. Nice pull, mister. And here's Entei, of course. Espeon, OMG. Mister, you're going to get vaxxed? That's right. Well, I'm worried about being artistic afterwards. Uh, but since I knew I was going to have superpowers against COVID, I got all the vaxes. All right, so that's for Mr. Mason Dickens. Dude. Can I see my card? Says Daniel Ortiz. Uh, you know, if everyone starts asking me to show their cards off, it's really going to make the wait time longer for the people who are waiting to have their cards open. So let me let me do that at the end of the night, okay? Mr. Mason, I did it earlier for Amos, uh, but you know what? I can't, I can't start showing off bags when there's a long line. Just probably not very nice to the people who are waiting. Oscar Mason, right here, he has that hyper rare Dialga. You're doing pretty good, Mason. I can see your bag's pretty thin, which means you picked up that Dialga on a, on a very cheap purchase. There you go. And now you're picking up secret rare Espeon. Next up, we got Jesse Salinas, who says four battle styles. You got it, Jesse. Jesse Salinas. Who's giving away pokies? What's up, comic vi vi uh, villain? I'm giving away pokies. How do you feel about getting the vaccine? I feel that once you've taken the vaccine, uh, you're no longer a man. Your man card's rescinded. And now you owe... The government, 60% of your income. <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right, what do we got? We've got Embor. Giveaway pokies. Don't take the vaccine. Be a man. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I can understand how people are skeptical of it. You know what I mean? Especially when the actual coronavirus has such a low actual death rate for young people. And then you have this vaccine that hasn't really been there any long-term studies and they made it in like a, I guess a year or less than a year. I could see why young people especially would be a little skeptic. And I think when they rolled it out, they were targeting elderly people to take it first, you know? All right. So let's see. This is for Jesse Salinas. This just in. Every baby born from vaccinated people have features that make them look like Bill Gates and Fauci. <laughs> well, and you know, that's a fair point too. It's like, uh, well, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's certainly an interesting subject. It's certainly an interesting subject. Uh, you know, obviously, people are taking it all over the place, and they're not, like, dropping like flies right now. So if there were really strong side effects, we would have already seen them. All right, Gregory Powers. He says, two super supreme Dragon Balls. You got them Dragon Balls, Mr. Gregory. But who knows? There maybe there will be a long-term side effect that people don't know about for a while. It's it's probably not going to happen. But again, I can see why young people would be skeptic. Uh, another thing is how effective is it really? Will you will you just need a different vaccine shot the next year? Will it be like the flu? You know, Dabura and Demigram momentary ally. I agree with you on the vaccine. Haven't done yet. You know, for example, there's flu shots every year, right? And nobody shames me for not taking the flu shot, which I don't. I, I just don't take the flu shot because I don't care if I get the flu. When I'm older, I'll probably care. When I'm older and my immune system's at risk, I'll probably take the flu shot. But, I, you know, I've had the flu before. It's, it's, I'm young and not, not dying of the flu. So it's an interesting uh, subject. They change the flu shot every year, too, to predict the strain. Well, yeah, precisely. So Mr. Gregory Powers... You know, I was listening to the news and they're like, COVID-20 and COVID mutation this. And 
super strain, and, you know? I'm listening to it going, how effective is the vaccine going to be in the long run? Shut up and take my money. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Taran? You know what's funny? I had the vaccine because I choose to, and I had flu-like symptoms afterwards, which means I probably had COVID in 2020 and didn't know it. What? Here we go. demi -gras. I don't know what that means. When you get the... When you get the vaccine, you're saying if you have flu-like symptoms, it means you already did have it. Is that what you're saying? Notice how flu dived to 0% since COVID. Yeah, that's right. Flu deaths were down, I think. Mister, when did you start collecting? Uh, I started collecting before the Logan Paul thing. Uh, it, it was uh, uh, it was like two years ago. It was before Logan Paul did his big thing and it became more mainstream. All right, next up, we got Tiago. M. Goncalves. Goncalves? Goncalves? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Diego, what's up, man? He says, first time ordering five EV heroes. Oh, mister. You're going to get the good ones. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, wait. He just pulled that Espeon, didn't he? I don't know if you're going to get the good ones. That's from the nurse. You gave me the shot, so I hold it in high regard. What? Why is it free? Is it really a cure and is it helpful? Why isn't it being profited like everything else? Hmm. So Smitty. I can understand the government, ma uh, not mandating, but uh, subsidizing something like a, like the COVID shot. That's not a surprise. Two. Once again, this is for Tiago. What's up, Tiago? You got Flareon. Woohoo! I guess the best profit is when the government pays for something with government money. <laughs> there you go, mister. Flareon's going to be your big hit. Yeah, taxes mean you pay for it no matter what. The vaccine is overrated, says Santiago. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's really good for, you know, like people who are at risk of it, though, you know. Hitler killed people that didn't have the proper genetic traits, and he was deemed evil. Fauci and Gates found a way to do genetic mutations secretly, and everyone praises them. Are you saying that the vaccine has been proven to do gen genetic mutation? I, I wouldn't know. I haven't watched, I haven't read anything about that. It doesn't everything cause genetic mutation sort of, gen it's called genetic expression. Your body reacts to its environment and it changes to adapt, something like that. Is there a single dose vaccine? I'll give you a single dose. All right, Mr. T. Ego M. Gone Calvis. Hitler made COVID. I knew it! <laughs> Johnson & Johnson is single dose. All hail Fauci. Ah, yes. King Fauci. Yeah, I think people are pretty tired of Fauci. I've noticed that. Next up, we got Justin Maxamble. He says, hi, mister. I have three unbroken bonds and one live custom. Good luck, Justin. Good. Oh, Justin, not this time in the live customs. Maybe the unbroken bonds, though. Oh, give me a moment. I gotta reach way back. There we go. Ooh. I want the vaccine that gives me the blood clots. <laughs> no, but some people did get blood clots, but it was a very, very, very small number. Still, if you died from the vaccine, that's, that'd probably suck a lot. I've got a single dose loaded up in my syringe. What? We only have the AstraZeneca and it's the blood clot one? Oh no. I don't want the blood clot one. I haven't worn my mask since the vaccine and it feels great. Dying from the vaccine could ruin your whole day. That's true. You died for science. New mods equals square scared. What? Smoking the Weedle? You better not be smoking the Weedle. Are our Weedles gonna touch? File plume and Arcanine. Pack number two. Oh, here we go. Hey, Blastoise GX, very nice. All right. You know, when I started collecting, this Blastoise GX, you could get them as a PSA 10, forget this. It was like $18 back then. That's how much this went for. As a PSA 10, $18 for that Blastoise. I'm not kidding at all. I remember perfectly well buying them. 
back in the day. Now he's probably like a hundred dollars. Back in the day before anyone was collecting. J and J is being sued because they knowingly put stuff toxic stuff in baby powder. Oh, I heard about that. The baby powder caused cancer. God, man. I'm scared to do anything these days. <laughs> See that stuff over there? It's soft. It smells good. It makes you feel, you know, happy and, and like like you're in a nursery. You're like, yeah, baby powder. Yeah, it's cancerous. Oh, <laughs> oh man. See that baby powder stuff? It feels as soft as a feather. It kills you. Everything kills you, man. But no, that's pretty shitty if you get cancer from using baby powder. Crazy to think about because... So many adults were putting it on babies' uh, bottoms, like, for years. What's your rarest pull? This one. I can see there's a lot more orders. All right. Busy night tonight, huh, guys? Yeah, definitely busy night. <laughs> so, we just finished Mr. Justin. Now we have Dennis... Chantavon? Chantavon? He says, new guy, I don't have a bag. I'd like five live customs. Oh, I hope you get something, man. Let's see. Vaporeon. Kangaskhan. Litleo. That's three. Forest Ducklet. And five is Panseer. That's five cold packs for Mr. Dennis Chantavon. I'm sorry, Mr. Dennis. Mr. Dennis, Dennis the Menace. He thought maybe five packs, definitely a hot one. All right, Dennis, well, you got some lovely hollows, and I tell you what, you're brand new, right? So let me get you a nice card as a gift from me to you. I'm going to give you this Charizard V, okay, man? I hope you have better pulls in the future. Charizard for Dennis. And now you're on the table, too. How cool is that? So you can add other things to your bag. Dennis, you know the sad part is it's probably the next pack. Because you went five packs deep. Uh, I can almost guarantee you it's probably the next pack. Chanta Vong. Yeah, I know. It's a tough one. Woo! <laughs> you never know, actually. You never know what's next in the box. Steven Demas. Steven says, one last pack of the 1920. Whoops. You got it, Mr. Steven. That's why it's high risk. It is. That is a high risk box. AR-14. What? Sneak. Mister, I didn't wear a mask, so I could purposefully walk around killing people while expressing my freedom. Uh, that's right. What? <laughs> we got Larry Nance, Buddy Healed. You got Rookie Bol Bol and Jeff Green. All right. I want a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was uh, the story of Troy. <laughs> I don't know. Once upon a time, there was the story of King Arthur. He was chosen by the, the gods. Mr. Stephen. Here you go, Mr. Stephen. Who here hasn't read The Odyssey and the Iliad? Such a great story. Are you taking orders? I'm still taking orders. The night is young. Now we have Mr. Maro Gulen. Gulen? Maro, what's up, Maro? He wants 10 E heroes. Anything for Maro. Maro's my best pal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Ooh. Mr. Maro, are you new as well? I don't think he's new. I, I feel like I recognize his name. Has anyone here never read the Odyssey and the Iliad? Old books about the Greek Roman gods and the battle for Troy. What a great story. Alex says, I don't read books. Why well, don't blame you? You know, TV and movies, they kind of replace books, let's be honest, even video games. Hard to read books these days, you know what I mean? You read Dante's Inferno, that's another classic. Lots of great literature out there. Mister, we should do some Mad Libs on this channel. I'll do some Mad Pokey Libs. 
I read when I can sometimes. Well, I did a bunch of reading. Oh, Jolteon, all right. Mr. Morrow picks up the Jolteon Secret Rare. Congratulations, mister. He looks like he's gonna use Quick Attack and finish the opponent off. Here's, ah, oh, Vaporeon. Do you got games on your phone? They're burning books again. Yeah, reading's not as popular these days because you got video games, you got Netflix, you got YouTube. Uh, everything is ready to service your entertainment needs. And reading books is kind of like almost old-fashioned, you know what I mean? It's almost like too old of technology to read. Cold? I've listened to the audio of Greek myths and history of the old Roman Empire. Oh, very cool, man. All right, you did good, Morrow. And I'm running low on EV heroes. So the next question I have is, do you have a bag? I'm going to go looking for your bag, okay? Michael, Maximus, Michael, Matthew, Mario. He says no. All right, let's get you a fresh bag. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. Mister, he would like a Pikachu if there's one. Oh, you mean in the common uncommons? I think I can go find that. Give me a second. All right, here we are. It's a PSA 6 first edition Eevee from Jungle. Not the craziest, but still nice. Oh, I love this song. This is when they're running in the forest. They're on the little deers or whatever. <laughs> Thank you, I have a collection of Pikachus. No problem. All right, so this will go in the M box. Now, do you guys know how to get your cards shipped? I wanna talk about that real fast. Here's how to get your Pokemon cards shipped from this table. I don't automatically ship your cards. They sit here until you request it. You either have to request it by ordering live shipping for $6. That gets your cards shipped out in the same day. Or you can get free shipping by heading over to the uh, Please Ship channel in our Discord and writing me a detailed message that you want your cards shipped what your bag name is, what your, you know, do you have PSA cards? Give me all the details. So those are your two options. Did you do the giveaway yet? Not yet. We will, actually the giveaway will be done. It might be in two days or three days. We're starting it tonight and it'll go, it'll be ongoing for a few nights so that everyone has a chance to enter. How you got scammed? I just watched a video of some idiot diving into the ocean thinking it was a what? Basking shark and it turned out to be a great white. What? Mister. All right, next up, we got Joshua Alvarez. Two Japanese team-ups. You got it. I have a bag. Joshua. Love this set. I know it costs a little more than Eevee Heroes, but the pulls in here are exquisite. And there's a Charizard Hollow you can pull quite easily. I only read about crypto. After much reading, I've concluded that I've learned nothing. <laughs> but crypto's going to the moon. <laughs> Dragonite, sweet. The Odyssey and the Iliad are really good stories. So Joshua, let's find Joshua Alvarez's bag. Joseph, Joshua Maldano, Jose Flores. How do you guys feel about dragon cards coming back? I'm so hyped. Jorge, Joshua Alvarez. Ha ha. I got a pull, Secret Rare and Battle Styles coming up. What? Uh-uh. I don't believe it. Believe it. Next up, we got Evan Shea. He says five matchless. You got it. Five packs of matchless. What game from E3 are you most interested in? Oh, the same one everyone's interested in, Elden Ring. The only good game coming. Elder Ring's gonna blow your socks off. What kind of printer you got? Tell me now! Oh, so you only answer questions when it benefits you! <laughs> it was so cringy when that happened. It took me a while to realize how frustratingly, like, I don't know, like, selfish that, that thing he was saying was. It's kind of like, what? Well, maybe that's why it sticks around as a meme. Cold. Oh, 
Oh, mister, that was a rough round of match list. No hits that time, mister. So that's for Evan Shea. Mr. Evan, you got a nice big bag of pulls, though. Thank you, Mr. Evan. Carlos Rivera says two, 1920 hoops. Where's that Zion Williamson? Probably in this box. I must know what label printing you use right now or I'm out of here. Oh, so you only answer questions when it benefits you. God, dude. All right, two of them, right? Two of them. Mister, can you do a little slab switcheroo? You want a little slab what? You better not talk about my sister that way ever again, mister. Sleep. Both over here. Let's see. Malik Beas Beasley. Josh Okogi. You've got Taco and Laven. Levine? Levine. All right. NBA City Levine. And Mr. Taco. It's Taco. Pack number two. You ready? So Jalen, Harry, Moritz Wagner, and Andrew Wiggins Special Hollow. Hmm. Tokimon Stone Fam. Mr. That Greninja going for 113 for buy it now lowest price. What? Damn, bro. He's so good at this. All right. Dude. That's for Carlos. Carlos, I've seen your bag over here, right? Oh, snap. It's a discount. I know. A whole dollar. Well, I mean, I just, I want to technically be cheaper, I guess. I'm supposed to do that each time. How to enter, says Vic Ram. What's up, Vic Ram? He's asking about the giveaway. To enter the giveaway, you'll want to go to the description and scroll to the top, and there'll be some instructions, okay? Imagine Elden Ring turns into a cyberpunk. Nah, that won't happen. Not with the From Software game. Melissa's back. What's up, Melissa? She wants two Evos and a spot in the large. Melissa? Let's get Melissa a hollow's art. Dear Pokey Gods. Please, oh. Dear Pokey Gods, we need a Charizard. A Charizard. That brings us up to 21. We might finish the large tonight. What's your favorite card in your collection? The Kabutops. He's my favorite one. That's why I'm selling him. For 420. Believe it. All right, evolutions. Hope and pray. Wap, wap, wap. Worship and pray. I think someone's going to win who isn't sub. That's right. You can't win if you're not subscribed, guys. It's a small fee to pay. <laughs> For Pokey Glory. All right, what do we got? Okay. Venusaur. That's a safe pull. It's not bad. It's not it's not uh it's not like Charizard, but it's not bad. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Pack number two. You ready? Okay, Nidorino. That's actually not that great of a pull. He's just an okay Pokemon. The middle evolution, huh? Let's check for any secret rares. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Melissa Price. Nothing wild that time. Oh, Melissa. Oh, Elden Ring. How about that voice acting for Elden Ring? Melissa Price. Evos. That's right. Now, Melissa, your bag's getting pretty large. And I'm thinking we're going to have to put you in a bulk box now. See that? Look at all that. That's thick. Thick as butter. So you are on the side in the overflow. Edwin Acosta says one spot in the large. Oh, Edwin. Silly Edwin. Tricks are for kids. Damn, no secret rares, but at least you got a Venusaur EX. That's right. Edwin Acosta. 
Sweet. Keanu Reeves did Elden Ring too. That's right. How did you know? Amos Castro says one X Y Evos. You got it, Mr. Amos. Amos, I think, is also looking for that Charizard. Sneep. Missed. I missed the rage question mark. What? Oh, it's a greenback. Magmar. What are you doing in here, Magmar? Get out of here. Magmar, if you're going to be a fire type, couldn't you be like Charizard or something? What else we got? We got Charmeleon and Pikachu. So these two are going to come out as well. We treat these like they're hits, but I mean, I don't really think they're worth very much. But I've seen graded non hollow Pikachu for sale before. Sold for like 40 bucks, I guess. Somebody's out there collecting it. Mr. Amos. Have you seen the Blackhawks landing on the Capitol lawn for the last few days? It's a sign of the end times, mister. Ooh. Leon Burroughs says one Eevee Heroes. Well, Mr. Leon? Mr. Leon Burroughs, uh, you sent me a dollar short. You sent me six bucks. And then uh, PayPal took an additional 56 cents. So you really only ended up sending me $5.45. I, I'm going to have to say that's just too low. I'm going to go ahead and refund the order, okay? Those damn damn PayPal fees. Ah, uh, I see. It's because you're from the UK. So the, the PayPal fees are even higher, I guess. I'm not sure. But you were off by a buck. All right. The, the refund has gone through, Mr. Liam Burroughs. I'll let you play around with that on your side. So Jesse Selena says seven battle styles. You got it, Jesse. Seven of them. All right, we'll shuffle the slabs for Mr. Targon. Here's Excadrill. Ooh, Excadrill. These are all priced up already. These are all priced up. Might be time to get new slabs on the table altogether. And these are all priced up. So give me a second. You know, I think I'm keeping these. I really like these a lot. And this is Team Rocket Returns. I think I've decided I'm not going to sell Team Rocket Returns. I shouldn't sell that either. To tell you the truth. Uh, and I'm not going to sell it. Bam. All right. Some cards are for sale. That's a Pikachu 10. Jesus. What is, what, these are all like the awesome cards or something. Here's a Shining ho -Oh. I think I've got a 10 of that. Here's a Raichu 10. He's pretty cool. I think we've priced up a Raichu 10 before. All right, let's grab some more of these. Guzma 10 from Hidden Fates. Did you guys notice? You almost never see a Guzma. What's up with that? Dark Magneton 9. I got to save him. This Dark Dragonite is definitely available, and so is this Dark Raichu. These are actually tough to, to uh, price, by the way, because it's not clear how they should be priced. Because it's, it's not like there's a lot of these for our sale, basically. I have like five Guzmas. You have a Guzma? I never pulled Guzma. He was like so hard to pull. I think that's like my only Guzma. I literally go to clickbait and forget that I can't. Mister, it's coming home. Football's coming home. That's right. Coming to a home new year. What? So, Jesse Salinas. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're short. I need another. Here we are. When do you think PSA will lower their prices? Ha, 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 ha. You think they're going to lower their price? Oh, mister. Good question. It could happen. If enough people left card card collecting, card grading, uh, maybe card collecting fell out of style and too many competent competitors popped up that were offering better prices, PSA might lower their price in that case. We'll see. Next up, Jesse Salinas. We've got, ooh, Urshifu VMAX. Oh, man, 125. Well, I sold the last one for like half that. Spoink. 
I'm trying to buy some CGC 9.5 Skyridge Hollows. The guy won't budge off of PSA 10 prices. LMAO, he must watch your stream. He's too woke. Well, if he doesn't want to, if he doesn't want to sell, he doesn't want to sell. You know, well, in that case, you're supposed to go buy a PSA 10 if you believe that the PSA 10 is more valuable than the CGC 9.5. You know what I mean? Here's Energy Recycler and Empoleon. All right. Urshifu and Empoleon. Yeah, you can't. If, if a guy can't be talked out of his price, that's just how it is, really. And maybe he's wrong. Maybe he's missing out on a sale that he should have made. Hard to say, isn't it? It's up to everyone. But one of you is probably wrong. He's either wrong or you're wrong about the price. Maybe he thinks that a CGC 9.5 is technically better than a PSA 10. All right. So, Mr. Jesse Salinas. Let's go find your bag. Here it is. That was easy. I think CGC 9.5s are more valuable, but I think, didn't think other people already thought this way too. People aren't that... I mean, we're talking about a lot of money. If you're talking about Sky Ridge Hollows, it's not a small subject. And CGC is so strict when it comes to uh, grading their cards that I wouldn't be surprised that a CGC 9.5 looks considerably nicer than a PSA 10. So I'm curious why you're trying to buy the CGC 9.5 when you could just get the PSA 10 if you're saying they're the same price. Well, probably what you've done is you've clicked on both auctions, both listings, and you've looked at them visually and realized the PSA 10 probably doesn't look that good. So you're like, I'd rather have the CGC 9.5. I could be wrong about that, but I'm saying... I've had that happen to me, at least. I, I don't know if it's happened to you guys yet. Next up, Christopher Martinez, 20 EV Heroes. Well, well, well. Do I have 20? I don't have 20. I'll be right back. How long does PSA return take once it's in an assembly step? Uh, not too much longer. You're almost done. All right, so I can see the shelf is empty of EV Heroes. I'll be back. Wait. Oh, it's in here already. Okay. I don't need to go anywhere. So we are nearly sold out of EV Heroes. They are now going up in price until more EV Heroes arrive. EV Heroes are now going to be $8. Let me do a quick refresh to see uh, who the last person to order was. I'm refreshing right now, so don't try to slip an order in. You're not going to make it. All right, so last order was Connor Gillespie, and now the price is getting updated. It's because they're selling too fast. I will try to buy more EV Heroes boxes. Jeez Louise, guys, you really like EV Heroes. So we got to jump down to Christopher Martinez. Man, this music is sounding catchy as heck. Whoa, do you hear those synth pads? Holy. Ah, here we are, Christopher Martinez. All right, 20 packs, good luck. Now you know, with 20 packs, you have a uh, one third of a chance to not pull the secret rare. Let's see what happens. It might slow down when chilling rain comes out. It might slow down. Right now, chilling rain is not technically out. And uh, I'm definitely running low on these now. So all of these. This is from Castle Crashers. This music. What's up, Christopher? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, all the packs are here. Woo! I got a booster box open online. What? All right, here goes. Sneep. 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 
Sleep. All right. Watch my dad. He's a player and used to be a girl. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you ready? Here it goes. Cold. It's Ente. Mister, do you watch wrestling? It's not real wrestling. <laughs> Here's a Vaporeon. Ooh. Raichu GX is going for 129. 129? Look at that Raichu. Logan Paul BGS Char Charizard documentary comes out soon. He's going to announce his next first edition box break. Oh, man. Oh, he's like, yeah, I'm ready to make more money. You think those next round will sell us quickly? All right. 126. Cold. Here's Grimmel Snarl. $100,000 per pack, says Kyle Brager. For real? That'd be pretty wild. <laughs> Cold. Floor Jazz. Marshadow. Crypto update. What's going on with crypto? Are you asking me to do a crypto update? Crypto, uh, it jumped a little bit, but then it started sliding back down. So I watched Ethereum go all the way down to 2,300 over the weekend. And then today, it, it looked like it was recovering by a lot. It went up to like 2,600 or something like that. That's a pretty large difference. But it's been sliding back down. And that's the last thing I saw. I don't know if it's going to jump again. But yeah, I like to watch it. I'm just curious to see what would have been. But uh you know, I'm all done with crypto myself. I don't know about you guys. I could hold some crypto. I I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the point of holding something you don't really want. Oh, there you go. The last pack. The last pack had a super or a secret rare in it. And it is another Leafeon. We've pulled a lot of those Leafeons. Woo! 2% crypto, says James. Oh, that's a pretty safe amount. I don't hate crypto. I just, I, and I love the idea of getting rich quick. Everyone does. And some guys really do get rich quick on, on crypto, but I don't feel like it does the things that it promises to do. Woo. All right. It's Refion. Christopher Martinez. You got a bag up top? I'm trying to remember if you got a bag up top. You've made 6K on AMC. Damn. You better sell before it drops or crashes. That was my mistake with uh, Ethereum. When Ethereum was real high, I said, let it ride. And then it crashed. <laughs> and I quickly went from being up a few thousand to being negative by 8,000. I'm not selling, mister, says Mikey. Fair enough, Mikey. Good luck. Jonathan Westfall says, one more spot for the XY Evo base. You got it, Mr. Jonathan Westfall. All right, we're up to 11 packs. Remember, when it reaches 18, I'm raising the price to 62. That was the original price. Hi, Papa. When will you open Chilling Rain? Uh, the Chilling Rain uh, rain has to get over here first, so it could be a few extra days, okay? We'll have fun while we're waiting. Raphael says, I'm here, so I'm buying. Might as well use some of the money I was refunded from my EV Hero order while paying three unbroken bonds and one live. Oh, I know what you're talking about. So he says three unbroken bonds in a live pack. You got it. Let's see what's in the live pack first. Might be a hot one. Oh, it is a hot one. PSA 10, number 197. Well, look at that. It was the next pack, man. You just never know. Oh, here it is. Boop. That's going to be a golden Rillaboom. Congratulations. All right, so he also wanted three unbroken bonds. Woohoo! That's a 
that's a nice looking Rillaboom, isn't it? <laughs> Dentia says, worth it. Oh, but now you normally you normally donate your hollows. Let me put that off to the side. You ready? Here it goes. How much for the PSA on the left? Guzma? Uh, two dollars. Snip. Snip. Let's see what you got. Polywhirl. Pack number two. Tangela. Pack number three. I'm afraid that's a cold round of unbroken bonds. But hey, you've got a very nice Rillaboom. So it's still a good round for you overall. Let's get your name on that. Will you get more uh, Sun and Moon team up? Well, I have team up right now. Yeah, I, team up's available. Oh, do you mean like English? Uh, so I have English team up available right now, but not for sale. And the reason for that is because we would only sell it on a box break. We could do a box break of team up anytime I want. Team up, what a fantastic set, man. <laughs> but not for me. All right, two cold ones for me. Hey, I swept the box a little for you. We'll make these available for sale again in the future, but they'll only be sold on a box break. Guzma is only 86. Wow. Damn, Guzma. It's because he's not a girl, man. I'm telling you guys. Guy, guy cards don't go for as much. People aren't racing to own any male characters. How much do you say? 86? 86. I think he said the Raichu was like 124. This music's so catchy. All right, there we go. They're all priced up. How nice is that? Why is Guzma pointing at his butt? Uh, Cause he wants uh, he wants some booty love. Wow, you're gonna judge. So next up, we got Mr. Morrow. He says one champion's path. If I hit a Pikachu, please leave it. I'm Swayze. What's up, Swayze? Swayze. Ah, oh, good. We do have a champion's path. Champion's path. Ah, who doesn't love champion's path? Here we are. And you pull hat trim, Santa scorch. No pee pee chews. Sweet. He's waiting for that Brock's favor. What? Brock's grit, you mean? Morrow then says, another champion's path. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to have to stand up for this champion's path. Oh, oh so much sitting. Ugh. Good old champion's path, huh? We opened so much Champion's Path in the day. <laughs> One Champion's Path enema. Something like that. Brock's Grith used Solar Beam. Solar Beam, what are you talking about? How about Sludge Bomb, maybe? You had to sell those card sleeves, I remember. 
Yeah, I sold those at a ridiculous price. There we go. Brox Girth used hydro pump. There you go. There you go. Hydro pump's way better. <laughs> Make him say yes. <laughs> what? Okay, one more champion's path for Mr. Morrow, and these go up top. Marquez asked 18 for the junk box. I mean, it's yours. If nobody asks for a higher price, it's all yours, mister. When it arrives, you guys got to take a picture of it and show what was in it. So people can be like, oh. Oh, nice, man. Look at that. One pack, one rainbow rare pierce. That's uh, pretty good. <laughs> Easy snipe. For Mr. Morrow, well, technically you bought two packs, so it wasn't a... But two packs, one hyper rare. What is the junk box, says Ricardo Marquez. The junk box is a new thing I'm doing where instead of throwing away a bunch of bulk, I uh, actually toss it into a box. I'll show you what that looks like. So when we come down here... That's the junk box. You can see it filling up with cards right now. All right, who's next? Connor Gillespie, he says, one Japanese, a lost thunder. All right, Connor's looking for a snipe. He also says, for the rest of the pack, oops. Yeah, that's a, that's a pity, Connor, because by doing two PayPal fees, PayPal now takes a dollar out of the cost of the pack. Not good. <laughs> Freaking PayPal. What do we got? And it's a cold one anyways. <laughs> Mister, would a tag team card of Brock's Grit and Duck Tree be the most sus card of all time? It would be the best card of all time. Ricardo wants 20 bucks for it. Well, Mr. Ricardo, if nobody goes over a 20, it's all yours. Mr. It's not English. PayPal the real winner. PayPal is the real winner. PayPal, I mean, PayPal's huge, you know? Have you ever accidentally cut a card when opening a pack? Not really. It happened a long time ago. Uh, and all I cut was like the code card or something like that because it was sticking up. But nope, I never cut the cards. And that's because I use a system where I feel the cards inside the pack before I line up the scissors. And the scissors are never... They're never allowed to go beneath my finger because if they did, they would cut my fingers. So my fingers are actually there protecting your cards. I would, if I ever cut my fingers, then you would know that the scissors were on track to cut the cards. All right, let's see what's next. We just refreshed. And we have Mr. Dave O'Callaghan. He says, I'd like a snipe of evolutions. All right, you got it. The wait time is short, everyone. Short wait time. We got a lot open very quickly. You know, I've gotten pretty fast at this. Very busy night. Dodo. Oh, wait. There we go. Gyarados Hollow. All right. Beautiful card. Somebody just got a Gyarados Hollow 10 from XY Evolutions back in one of our PSA submissions. They, they should have made me an offer on it, but they probably wanted to keep it. I would have accepted an offer because that's a card I don't have and I need one. Boop. You love the Gyarados base art? I do too, and I like that he is a card in XY Evolutions and that he's hard to grade. So that is for Mr. Dave. What's up, Dave? This is the volleyball music. All right, so Mr. Dave, Devin A, Daniel, Derek Withrow, David Muller, Francisco, Dan, Fidel, Dave O'Callaghan. I'm Dave. I'm Dirty Dan. Dave is asking for his energy cards. What, the non-hollow energy? All right, there you go. All 
All right, there you go, Mr. Dave. Woohoo! Can I buy Pokemon cards? You absolutely can, yes. And we'll open them live for you here. That's what people come here for. It's really fun. Anthony Deloa, what's up, Anthony? He says, this is the Lucky God Roll, Shining Fates Pack. Haven't bought in a while, this is it. It's so it, mister, you're so right. Here goes. Look at this shiny face. You did it! It's the lucky roll, Greedent and Grimmel Snarl. You knew it, mister. It's Charizard. <laughs> ah! <laughs> The bearded squirrel, that's right. Now, Mr. Anthony DeLois says he hasn't bought a while. Do you have a bag? Mr. Anthony DeLois, do you have a bag? When people order and they don't tell me if they have a bag, I get sad. Arneth, that's R-N-E-F. Ooh, look at those, li listen to those drums, man. Ah, I'm dancing over here. Here we go, Anthony DeLois. Do you have Japanese tag team? I do. That's a common question. Uh, and it's not for sale, unfortunately, because I was selling it before and it was just not selling very well. And I didn't like that because I didn't like them sitting around. Yes, the bag request in the description in Discord, mister. What? In the description in Discord. Bag request. What's a bag request? People, are you supposed to tell mister if you have a bag or not? Oh, right. No, I guess I didn't write that down in the how to order cards. I really ought to. Yeah, it would help if you guys told me if you had a bag or not when you made an order. So I didn't have to go on the goose hunt. All right, guys. Well, that was fun opening cards. Let's go lay out on the couch together now and play some Smite. I'll just put the camera on the table next to me and you guys can watch. Man, we had a busy night. What the heck? Because I remember you said... Seeing you sell them before sounds good, mister. <laughs> oh man, you know what I need? I need a new laptop, and then I really could do some streaming again. Calling it a night, have fun. Have a nice night, Mr. Dencho. Wait, can I see a few more slabs? Um, let's see. There's Pikachu. These don't even have sleeves on them. Oh, man, that's cool. Snorlax First Edition 7. You guys would hate that. Here's Oddish 10 from... Well, that's not for sale. And a Giratina Hollow from Unified Minds. Here's Vintage Spinarak, who doesn't have a sleeve. Any Dragonites? Yeah, we had a uh, Dark Dragonite 7, I think. Here it is. that Pikachu. Any Charizard it is my favorite. Is Red Pikachu 10 or 9? It's a 9. Do you still have some of the energy slabs? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Is that Pikachu an 8 or a 9? It is a 9. Red's Pikachu, uh, one of the most expensive cards from Cosmic Eclipse. Real popular card. Okay, next up, we got an order from Louis Rodriguez. What's up, Louis Rodriguez? It's Louis. There we go. And you pull. Oh, big pull there. That's a snipe. Nessa Full Art from Mr. Louis Rodriguez. Very nice. Always a low odd of actually getting a snipe, but that was a snipe. Look at that. You got the... Uh, you got what's your name earlier? Nice round, man. Boop. 
Congratulations. Woohoo! I was in Facebook jail. Someone reported me for bullying. I hope you got him good, mister. Someone reported you for bullying. What? God, man. Facebook jail. An independent fact checker has determined that you are going to jail. Mikey is a big bully. What? Skyla and Nessa? Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's like my eighth time in jail. I've been locked out for two weeks before. Really? Oh, mister. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. After Lewis, we've got Cody Rogers. He wants four Eevees. He means Eevee heroes, of course. You got it. Cody, that's the old price, but I'll open them for you anyways this time. All right, Mr. Cody, keep in mind, everyone, Eevee's has, Eevee heroes have gone up by $1, okay? For now. They'll come back down a dollar after uh, a restock comes in. Facebook allowing people to talk about the potential Wuhan COVID leak. You would get banned before if you talked about it. That's crazy stuff, man. That's some Orwellian thought police stuff where you're not allowed to you're not allowed to think. The internet will have people think for you. The scary stuff, really. I, I'm fully against that. Whew. And that's a cold one. All right. So this time. Mr. Cody, you got some cold ones. Cold ones. And Cody Rogers, your bag is... Is it in the overflow? I don't think it's in the overflow. Just joined. What's up, Ash Stretchum? Here we are, Cody Rogers. Do you watch Duncanville? I watch Ride On D's Duncans. What? Send me to the Shadow Realm. What? I like Targon dropping them prices. What? Oh, Targon was dropping prices. Hmm, okay. Dragon eyes, dragon tails, dragon tails. Something, something, dragon tails. Something, something, dragon tails. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, the roll's gone. It's empty. That was all of the... I'm out of... Uh... Well, hold on. We priced too many cards, guys. And I don't see... Any more rolls? I have more rolls somewhere for the, the price gun, but I don't know where they are. All right. Um, I got that marker. Let me get the marker. Be right back. The price gun labels. Where did those go? Toss us back here. Snorlax, he's so pretty. Mr. Not practicing gun safety, not knowing where the ammo is kept. That's true. I can't believe we used all the stickers up. I laugh so hard at the comments when I get muted. Do you have XY promo Pikachu EX? I do not. That is a card I do not have. Is Kanto Power Box worth the money, says Tribe. Kanto Power Box is big stinky. All right, guys, so we're, we're totally caught up, and it's 150 minutes in. I'm going to go take a leak. When I come back, if there's no more orders, then we're all done, okay? $1.99 for the Pikachu. Wow, such a pricey card, man. Is Mango Power Box a meal? It sure is.
guys better not be up to no good. If you were up to no good, I'd have to spank. Mistress Milkshake bringing all the pokies to the yard. That's true. All right. Listen to this music, man. There's currently not a Japanese Plains Arcanine for sale. Yeah, also notice this is Gurren City, Gym Deck. It's a special Arcanine. All right, here we are. What? We got more orders. We got an order for Mr. Amos Ca Castro. Amos says one XY evolution. And can you grade my cards? I want your opinion on my Zekrom. Sounds good. Good luck to Mr. Amos. Mr. Amos wants a card grade. I suppose we could do a card grade. Here we go. Growlithe. Look at this Growlithe. Which is better crypto, AMC or GameStop? <laughs> All right, let's see. You also pick up a Charmander. So that's a pretty rough pack, I'd say. And let's grab your bag. Your bag's really large enough to go into the overflow at this point. Is that Red Pikachu 9 better than 9.5 CGC? No, the 9.5 CGC will be a better uh, card, okay? So here we go. Time to greatest cards. Fat on the left. Print line. Then on the top. I'm not going to grade this. It's just a common. It's just a. It's not even holographic. Too thin on the left, I'd say. Yeah, that does have a print line. Then on the left. Then on the left. Do, 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 Then on the left up here. That's just a metal card. Tag Team Pikachu Zekrom. This looks great. Send that one out. That one looks great. This looks fine. I'd send that out. Then on the left. This is a very well-centered uh, Machop. Charmander. Also a very well-centered Rattata. Then on the top, um, I believe I saw this one earlier and it was off-center. Isn't that funny? I kind of remember it. Yeah, so this looks thinner on this side here. I guess it's hard to tell. If I were to grade one of these, I'd want to be sure it's going to come out 10. Then on the bottom, I don't grade these. I don't know much about them. Starmy Break. The Starmy Break looks pretty good on the back. He might be within the, the range of getting a 10. Yeah, he's a little off center. Don't send him to CGC. Then on the bottom. Similarly, he might have a slim shot at a 10. How does he look on the back? Nah, he's got white corner. Never mind. Here comes Team Rocket. Yeah, Team Rocket might have a shot at PSA. Yep, he looks good. No, then on the bottom, Mega Charizard. Now, that's an important one. He's thinner on the left. I'd test him out anyway. Send him to PSA for attempt to get that, that 10 at PSA. He's off center. Lots of cards to grade here. He's got weird corners. I mean, I'd probably test him out anyways. Fat on the top. You know, this is just a a, a, a trainer card. He, he's a bit off-center. Pikachu! Oh, Pikachu's great. Be sure to send Pikachu. Decidueye. He looks fine. Gyarados thin on the left. I don't grade that. 
Pass thin on the left. Thin on the left. He's got a little white dot on the corner. Then on the bottom. Then on the bottom left hand corner and then on the bottom. Okay. I'll reset this music real fast. Woo. Alex says it's scaring me. I know we need bedtime music. All right, lots of nines in here. The Arcanines look good. You could grade anything you think looks fancy. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And then over here is your pile of potential 10s. Decidueye, Pikachu, Magnemite, this Mega Charge are really out to go out. So should the Pikachu, by the way. These two are big hits. Haunter, here comes Team Rocket. Gratita, Jirachi's a hit. And your tag team is a hit. So these cards, these four really ought to go out first, okay? Mister, are you tanned? I am getting tanned a little bit. I can tell if I lift my shirt sleeve up, um, yeah, I'm already more tan. There you go, Mr. Amos. All right, cool. After Mr. Amos, we have Maro Gulian, or Gwillin? Gu Gwillin. Two Darkness Ablaze and live shipping and pre-grade. Can I send you a picture on Discord? Can I send you a picture well, if you're hoping to send me pictures of your cards, I don't grade those. I just grade the cards in your bag, okay? Mister, could I see my bag if you have the time? Uh, I think you opened up a... Um, you opened up... Oh, that's Targon Tavern. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and take care of this first. Ask me again when we're near the end. <laughs> it's because I, I don't want to go looking for your bag. <laughs> Can I see my bag? All right, here we go. For Mr. Moro, Moro, Gulen. Gulen? Can I see all my bags? Can I see all bags? <laughs> here we go. We pull in Larvesta on pack number one. Oops. And Poltergeist on pack number two. I'm sorry, man. That's two cold packs. Now, Mr. Moro, let's grab your bag. You're new. Here you are. He's wanting me to do a, a pre-grade. Your peers are thinner on the uh, right side of the card slightly. However, he may still get a 10 at PSA. Not at CGC. CGC will tear that card up because he's too off-center. This looks very well-centered. And uh, I never have anything to say about the backs on, on Japanese cards. Look at that. Isn't that cool? God, that's cool. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, and then let's just see these Japanese cards. These two are looking slightly thinner on the bottom, and this one does not. Okay, and your your Pikachu, huh? Your Pikachu looks fine. All right. Now, you're pretty new. I have to say, I feel like you've made the common newbie mistake of ordering live shipping right away. A lot of people... They'll wait to live ship until the bag's a bit larger because live shipping costs, uh, you know, because it costs costs a bit. But we'll go ahead and send it out. Now I'm going to need your address, which I'm going to go look up. Mr. Morrow, I'll be using your PayPal address, okay? I see a PayPal address that begins with 63. And that's the one I'll be using. If it'll just load. There we go. Sweet. And we're going to send out first class. Print. Do you want me to print this? Yes. That's why I hit the print button. Are you sure? There you go, Mr. Morrow. They're on the way. Okay, we're all done with that. 
after Morrow, we have James Gower. He says, five EV heroes snipe. You got it. Five EV hero snipe. One, two, three, four, five. There we are. And we'll toss this. Okay, good. Mr. Morrow. Only the good ones for you. Sneep. James better not snipe. Mikey, you want a ball battle? He sniped this Fla uh, Leafeon. See, I almost called him Flareon again. Cold. Here's Jolteon. What do you think about Pokemon Arceus? I was hoping they would say something about it at E3, and they did not. What a bummer. Come on, Nintendo. All right, and Umbreon. Sweet. Imagine not having anything prepared for E3. Those jerks. I wonder if there's a reason for that, you know? Maybe they don't want it to be at E3. All right, lovely leafy on Mr. James. That's not bad for five packs. Three hits and five packs. Ricardo Lopez says three EV heroes. You got it, Mr. Ricardo. There we go. Maybe they only do the Nintendo Directs. That's right. Sneep. This music. <laughs> All right, Mr. Ricardo. Good luck. Pulling Sylveon V. Look at that Sylveon. Here's a cold one. What's a good way to pop your back? Uh, you know, I heard that that's not necessarily going to help your back or that it's good for you at all. I'm sorry, Mr. Ricardo. Just a Sylveon. Let's go find your bag. Here we go. Ricardo Lopez. Look at that Sylveon. Pokemon, damn, hitting that bong hard tonight. He's smoking too much pot. Ricardo Marquez with the large order. He wants four vivid. Okay, we got four vivid. Five shining fates. Also, can you show the other energy slabs that you have available? They're, they're buried somewhere. I have so many slabs, I don't even know where they got sorted off to. But I can tell you they're like 60 bucks and they're hidden fates. Okay, here we go. And these five right here. Mr. Nose. Mom! Mr. Nose! Oh, I'm going to pull the camera over. Yeah, I think they're 60 a piece. I think there might be one that's 70. Sleep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. Seven, eight. Mister, are Pokemon Japanese supremacist? <laughs> what? I'm sick of having to watch Japan get sets first. I don't think that has anything to do with supremacy. <laughs> Can we do a rocket box break, says James O. We could. All right, we got Pharaoh Seed. That would be possible. Here's Shuppet. I don't think you'd like it, mister. It'd be... Oh, there we go. Or Beetle VMAX. Oh, this must be worth at least 100. <laughs> we was number one. What? What are you talking about? Shiny Fates. Rotom. Come on, Shiny Fates. Don't do this. Professor's Research. Oh. Choodle. Oh. Come on. No! We got one pack. This is it. The Charizard. It is an apple ton. That's kind of cool. All right. So, overall, Mr. Ricardo, I'd say that's tough luck on those packs. Mr. I'm an oppressed English collector, and you can't mansplain me out of this. Mom! I'm an oppressed collect English collector. You collect the English? <laughs> oh, man. 
Mr. Ricardo, I like your apple ton. I'm sorry about the tough pulls this round. I was rooting for you. Why don't we get you a little bonus tops card? Here's a moldy tops card just for you, mister. All right, and the other two cards. What is man's plane? <laughs> Are you trying to mansplain me mansplaining? Are you racist to Japanese cards, mister? Not at all. We have Japanese cards right here. All right, so let's see. Alexio Alvarez says, one, ghost of the past. Oh, Alexio, are you ready for these ghosts of the past? Woo! Here it is. What do we got? Terror of Trishula, Metal Foe, Recover, Molten Conduction, and Time Thief. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No ghost rare in there. Probably a ghost rare in the next one. We haven't seen a ghost rare. All right. And now I'm going to refresh. All hollow. God pack. That's right. That's what that means. <laughs> Is this where we get free Charizards? That's correct. Okay, let's see what's next. So we got Ricardo Marquez, Alexio, Lewis, one Ultra Prism, one Unified Minds. You got it. Lewis says, I'm just going to mind sweep everything. Or not mind sweep, I'm just going to snipe everything. I have those two heavy packs of Fossil. Bulk Box Bid War. Don't overpay for the bulk box, guys. There'll be a new one every night, okay? Scaruppy. And... Lucario! Sweet! How much, mister, for the fossil? Honestly, I don't know. We've got two heavy packs, and I don't know really what they should be valued at. There you go. Sorry about that, Mr. Lewis. I could put them in the large or something. Kevin Carrillo, Kevin says, Mr. Dr. Professor, hey, Mr. Dr. Professor, can I get three XY Evos, one EV Heroes, one Shiny Fates? Hold on, let's do this one at a time. That's a big order. Oof. All right, so here's the EV Heroes and the team up. Here's the Shining Fates is the last one. And he says three Evos. People sure like Evos. Dude. How nice. All right, let's see. Sneep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sneep. Do 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 do. Scooby dooby dooby do 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 do. He was number one. What are you talking about? Electrode and Florges. How about this? It's Nidoran. Look at this Nidoran. He's so nice. Such a lovely Nidoran. Here's Indudu. You did it. You got the full art Indudu. Now, for the rest of the evolutions, here's Drowsy. Wow, these evolutions have been pretty stinky poopy. Where's the Charizards at? Well, you guys have been opening them pretty slow. I think that's part of it. You also get Pidgeot and Leaf Energy. I'm about to leaf the room. $10 plus $1 soda can plus $3 empty packs. You opened the mall, mister, last week, says Targon. Oh, man. Well, no, that was actually a totally different batch. This is a brand new batch. So the reason I was opening those other ones is because I was out of them. So there was like three boxes left, and I'm like, I'm opening those. And that's because I myself want some evolutions to grade. 
and and then I ordered a new batch. This is the new batch, and so far no Charizards have popped up. All right, that's cold. I want lots of Charizards. I want all the Charizards for you guys. Just waiting for Mister so I can pay. Oh, Mister. If, <clears throat> if nobody else wants to beat 22, you're free to pay right now. All right, so that's Kevin. Kevin Carrillo. You got it, Mr. Kevin. I like your Indudu. Not really. <laughs> Freaking Indeedy, man. She's in everything. She's basically rat -a to me. Come on, Indeedy. Indudu. Johnny Ceruzzi returns. He says, one, ooh, the fine ones. He says, I need a new bag. You got it, Johnny Ceruzzi. Look at that Pikachu. He's so familiar. Who knows where this Pikachu is used at? That's right, the McDonald's pack. Oh, McDonald's had a Pikachu. All right, we'll sleep this up. Do I just PayPal then? That's how it works. PayPal, yes. Is 22 plus a smooch higher than 2201? That's technically false. Actually, the smooch, the smooch makes it negative. Johnny Ceruzzi. Donate it, mister. Oh, mister, you made me ruin a bag first. All right. Next up, we got Michael Cusick, who says three unbroken bonds. Keep the hollers. Thank you, Michael. Michael, you're so kind. Me and my best friend, Michael. Targon says, oh, snap. Fan says, you saw the new Advanced Wars? There was an Advanced Wars? Send me a link, Fan. I did not see that. Sip! I'm going to go hard on Advanced Wars. Oh, my God. One of my favorite games ever. They're making a new Advanced Wars all these years later. Wow. What do we got? Tangela. It's a remake of 1 and 2. Okay. Well, I'm still happy with that. I'll buy it to help them know that there's people out there who want it. <sighs> Michael. So sorry, Michael. The whole thing was cold. It's not even new. It's just a remake. I will totally buy the remake. I'll buy it just to support Advanced Wars. I don't care. They just need to see that people want to play it. And maybe if there's enough attention given to it, they'll make a new one. Victor Zonta. Victor says, two Eevees. Two Eevee packs. Where are the Eevee packs? All right, so I got to start rejecting these. Mr. Victor, I'm rejecting the order because you underpaid. Sorry, Mr. Victor. I'm going to go ahead and send you a refund. All right, issue refund. So the price on the Eevee Heroes is eight per pack at the moment. And this is because people are buying them too fast and I'm almost sold out. And now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. I think we're about done for the night, guys. We're only five minutes away from the three-hour mark. Oh, man, this music's so good. We have an order from Mr. Alexio Alvarez. He says, two more ghosts of the past. All right, let's get a ghost rare already. I want to see a ghost rare come out of these. What do we got? Lava Girl. That's like straight out of Adventure Time. All right. No Ghost Rare on pack number one. How about pack number two? No Ghost Rare on pack number two. Hmm. Where are those Ghost Rares? So that's for Alexio. Mr. Alexio, your back's going to get real fat opening these. Would I be able to see my bag now, mister? 
Oh, Mr. Targon's Tavern. He just thinks he can see his bag. Let's see. Here we go. We got a bag for Targon's Tavern. Ampharos, Charizard, Cape of Toughness. You got a Divine Arsenal, a Sky Thunder, Zeus in there. That's cool. And then lots of hollows. <laughs> Very cool. Good. Juan Ray says, Mr. One Shining Fates. All right, you got it. And look at that. I got to open a new box of Shiny Fates. High bid now is 22.53. Whoa. That's deep, man. Mr. is unaware of the bidding. Oh, I, I, I kind of see it. I'm trying to focus on the task at hand. So, Mr. Juan wants that epic Charizard snipe on a single pack, huh? All right, here we go, Mr. Juan. Oh, Toxtricity, all right. Toxtricity, hyper, or not hyper, <laughs> shiny. That's a shiny hollow. <laughs> All right, and here we are. Wait, why do we put Joshua in the JU box? He'd go in the JO box. There we go. Will you be putting any pogs into the bulk box? Just junk. It's not it's not the bulk box, it's the junk box, okay? So it's just got junk in it, just so you know. Different from a book box. Book box, you might expect certain cards, like maybe some hollows, maybe some common and common English. This is a junk box. These are cards I'd normally throw away. Smitty says, they should use Yu-Gi-Oh cards names at the next script spelling bee. No more eight-way ties when you got to spell a more factor pain. <laughs> All right, now you must spell... <laughs> All right, so I'm refreshing, and it looks like one more order came in. Let's see. Well, a few orders came in. So an order from Christopher Martinez, a real large one. He wants five unified minds. All right, two, three, four, five. And he also says five evolution. I mean, evolution. One, two, three, four. And a five. Oh, mister. Can't just go around buying all these big ones. What the heck? The heck? Sunny one. Two, three. Four, five. So there's the unified minds. Now for the evolution. Sneep. One, two, three, four, and five. Sweet. Are the unified minds from a booster box? Uh, technically they're not, but they're from somebody who I like to buy uh, loose packs from because they're consistently good loose packs. Here's Pikachu, Brock's Grit. If you want to know, it's it's a guy who I got the double Charizard from, from the Evolutions on that video that's blowing up. It's the same guy. He sold me those Evolution packs. He's the guy giving me these uh, Unified Minds packs. Machoke! It's Machoke Me Daddy. Woo! And Hollow Zapdos. I like that pack. That's a good pack. All right. There we go. Zapdos and Machoke Me Daddy. Actually, we've done pretty good with the uh, with the uh, Unified Minds box. It's, it's given out quite a bit of a good serious pulls already. Magnemite. 
Here's Porygon and Mewtwo. All right. That's still decent. Uh, once again, Mewtwo EX is a is a decent pull. We like Mewtwo EX. Finally, one last pack. Oh, Reverse Hollow Raichu. So no Charizard came out, but overall the pulls were pretty decent. I like Reverse Hollow Raichu. Let's see if we can find any secret rares in there to sweeten the deal. So here's a Charmeleon. Another Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Oops. All right. So, no secret rares, unfortunately. How about these Unified Minds? Luminion. Here we go. We got... Ah, it's just Mawile, though. <laughs> we need Mewtwo Mew. Mawile. Mawile's lives matter. Here's Normalium Z. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, what a great card. Viridian Forest. That's from the video games. Remember Viridian Forest? It's a really iconic part of the video games, right? It's, it, that's from like red and blue, is it not? The very first forest you go through. So that's an ultra rare. Take a look at that. Such a cool card. Okay, that's an ultra rare. Congratulations. You pulled that in just five cards. So uh, from the Unified Minds, both an ultra rare and a GX in just five packs is a pretty good pull rate. Congratulations, Mr. Christopher. All right. We have the graded out of 10. Nice. Well, that one looks like another 10. So you might have a one to sell. Whoop. I think someone could bid more later. So you might want to wait. I don't know that this was actually an official auction at all. It's just to whichever guy wants to... Don't over. I wouldn't go over twenty five. I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay over twenty five for it. I mean, you can if, if you want to, just because you're crazy. But, um, I mean, I. I don't think I myself would value it over twenty five. To be honest. All right, there we go. Emiliano jumped in at the last minute. He says, "Send my top two cards to CGC, and he wants a shiny star." You got it, Mr. Emiliano. Giving himself a shot at the Charizard. Oof. Rowlet! Cuckoo! Wait, that's not what I... That's not how I... Ow, hoots. He goes, caca! Caca, caca! Right? That's how owls sound. The government owls. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm just saying things. I'm trying to find Emiliano over here. Uh, here he is, Emiliano. He says, top two cards to PSA, to CGC. All right, so tag team is definitely going to be considered. I guess I'll say this card as well, even though that's not going to pull a 10. Raichu alone, Raichu full art is still a very, very good nine to have. Mr. Emiliano. I think he said shiny star. Oh, he said shiny star. Oh, man, I'm dumb. So we're going to open up a pack of shiny star for him. God damn it. <laughs> My bad. No problem. We'll get him the card. We'll give him the pack he requested. All right. So before we send these out, we have to see if this card here is a better pull than those two. Could be Charizard in here. Let's see what happens. Cinderace. Not Charizard at all. Actually, that was a cold pack. Whew. And Mr. Emiliano, let me grab your bag. I'll toss that in. I pay 20 a month for the Discord I'm in right now, but I get sports cards. Oh, mister. Michael, Rafael, Emiliano. There we are.
Man, this music is catchy. I'm dancing right now. Dancing in my seat. Ooh. Damn, that's sexy. All right, there we go. Nathan Longoria says, one My Little Pony. You got it, mister. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. He also wants one Darkness of Lights. Okay, one Darkness. Joramo says, wow, we still going. Yeah, sometimes when people hear that the line is slowed down, they go, all right, I'll buy some now. I think that is pretty obvious to me. Long wait times really do scare people off. I was trying to help out and keep it somewhat organized. Mr. Obviously can't read everything in chat. Uh-huh, I've got a third eye. <laughs> Sneep. And Sneep. All right, lots of Sneeps there. We're going to start with these ponies. Let's see where it goes. Here's Twilight Sparkle. Oh, Mr. She's sparkling. Who are these for? This is for Mr. Nathan Longoria. He's going to be the first one with the complete base set hollow My Little Pony collection. And he's going to sell it for a million dollars. That's cold. And, oh, look at this. It's Granny Smith. She looks so crazy. Granny Smith, you better chill, man. Granny Smith, you better chill. Now you also pull. Oh, that's a good pull right there. Charizard V. That's a pretty good night for you, Mr. Nathan. Congratulations. Picked up the Charizard and Twilight Sparkle. I mean, come on. Easy mode. Nathan Sumter. Nurses. Nathan Longorio. These boxes are pretty full. Okay, there we go. Next up, we got Paul Bradley. What's up, Paul? Seven Supreme Rivals. Need a new bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Supreme Rivals. All right, we like Supreme Rivals. Sneep. One, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Sneep. All right. What do we pull? You've got chain attack, shuggish. Damn, he's going to use a chain attack. He's going to juggle. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I better handle those gently. What's this? SS Trunks, Altering the Future. He's a special rare, so that's a good pull. Congratulations. Here's Chain Attack Borgos. I don't know, man. Borgos has got kind of an ugly bald spot. That is not the kind of bald spot you want. He's looking kind of crazy. Dude, SS Son Goku. Oh, he's going Super Saiyan. He's going Super Saiyan. We got Bardock, Pride of Low Class Warrior. <laughs> what? I'm just a low class warrior. I want to be a high class warrior. King Vegeta, head of the Saiyan Rebellion. Uh oh. That's no good. And King Cold, Supreme Ruler. Can I be the Supreme Ruler of this tabletop? I'm the Supreme Ruler over here. These are the pizza cards? That's right. Very good. That's all for Mr. Paul Bradley. They're all yours, Paul. I think that your best pull was this one, the SS Trunks, Altering the Future. You know, you can just kind of tell because he has like more shiny stuff on the card. And then you look at that and it says special rare. It's really interesting. They make it pretty obvious in a way when a card is more valuable than the others by giving it more crap on the card. They make it all super shiny. They're like, this is the special one. New bag, right? New bag. You even said it. Dragon Ball Z. It's Dragon Ball Z. 
Paul Bradley. Sweet. And now I need to refresh. Mikey says, I would never know, to be honest. I would know. In the, okay, in the real, I'm out 5,000 later, my pokey does. What? What is he saying? So, next up, we have Mr. Alexio Alvarez returns. He says, two more ghosts in the past. You got it, Mr. Alexio. Mr. Alexi, I do really hope you get a ghost rare. Here goes. Steep. Here we go. Sunseed Twin, Salvation Bloom, Hieratic Seal of Reflection, Resonator Engine, and Dragonity. Hmm. How about pack number two? So somebody told me they're in the the ghost rare would be in the back. No, no ghost rare here, huh? What's this one? Cosmojo. Oh man, he's giving her a choke out, and she's saying, "Zaddy." All right, sorry, Mister Alexio. I appreciate you opening all those, though. I really do. We don't get to see a lot of ghosts of the past. Yeah, I know. If only the Ghost Rare came out every four packs. Sean Leon, he says, one live custom before you close. Probably cold. My bag is in the back of the S box. Ooh, Sean Leon. Do -do 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 -do. It's so cold. Oh, Sean, I'm sorry. Mr. Sean, you were right. You had a hunch, but you took a you took a risk anyways, and this time it did not turn into a hit. Jonathan Morris, who says five more Eevees. You got it, Jonathan Morris. Five more Eevees. Two, three, four, five. Eevee Heroes has sold at a shocking pace. Here's Swampert. A cold one. A cold one. Oh, man. <laughs> no! Eldegoss and... Oh, there we go. Leafeon. Full art. You got lucky on that. I thought that was going to be cold all the way. So that is for Jonathan Morris. Here you go, Jonathan. And I'm going to refresh now. Mister, it's an entire Eevee set. Could have seen, could seen that coming, says Elon Musk. So many Eevees, man. I like Eevees. I, I like Umbreon a lot. Yeah, the Umbreon's my favorite, probably. That's probably true for a lot of people, though. So, next up, we got Christopher Martinez. He says, don't stop till the bodies drop. Six Evos and live shipping. Six Evos. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. That's a big order. You guys ready? Two, three, four, five, six. Good luck with your order, man. I hope we pull a Charizard. Snip. Come on, Charizard. Sneep. All sneaked up. Oops. Starmie break. There's an Imakuni as well. All right. Not so bad then. Imakuni secret rare and Starmie break. Here's 
Coughing? Oh, man. Come on, Coughing. Transform into a Charizard. Starmie break. Double Starmies. Now, that's a pack that I was definitely looking for. Double Starmies. Ah, uh, there's Diglett. When she, once she's had Dugtrio, she can't return to Diglett at home. Magikarp. Oh, man. I'm really hoping your next pack is a Charizard. And... Beedrill! That's the one you were looking for. Beedrill and Magneton. I mean, that's kind of nice. It's not too bad. Those are both rares. You were kind of lacking on rares. Let's look for our other pulls. We got Pikachu. Ponita. Metapod. Oh, man. That's a tough round, to be honest. You did get one secret rare, but you didn't get any Pikachu secret rares. Mr. Only opened up Charizard when it benefits him. So that's why she comes home so late, the Duck Trio. I wish I was Pikachu, says Manny. Oh, Manny. Christopher Martinez. I don't know. The Magneton's really nice. Does it have a print line, though? You know, it's a very faint print line. I wonder if it could sneak by. Does it have a shot at a 10 otherwise? Well, slightly off center. He might have a very low chance for a 10. I've seen them let PSA 10 slip by on cards that have print lines, only when the print line's are very faint. I think yours has a print line right there, but you really, really have to see it. There it is. See that? So there's the print line, but it's so faint. I almost wonder if that could grab a 10. All right, let's get this into your bag. Woohoo! And, uh, you know, that looks like a really heavy bag. It's a lot of cards, man. <laughs> you guys are fun. You guys go really deep. Just got to wait for PSA to open. Seriously. Come on, PSA! All right, and we'll do one more bag to seal the deal. That's a lot of Pokemon cards. Holy. Holy moly. Uh-oh. Stamps freezing? Nope, okay. How many Christophers do we have? Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Christopher Martinez with an address that begins with 27. That's what I have. All right, and we're going to hit print. I better double check that just to be sure because your order is so large. Yeah, okay, perfect. Which is why I said I bet I not and not know. What? How many more slots are left on the XY reserve? I may get another. Uh, right now, 11 packs are sold. All right. Woo! Fergie's Cave says five Dragon Ball Supreme Rivalries bag in the overflow. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Fergie Cave, what's up, man? Let's see what you get with these Supreme Rivalries. Sleep. Here's Son Goku, Dad to the Rescue. Wow, his son looks just like him. Here's King Cold Dynasty and Frieza, Invader from Another Dimension. Get out of here, Frieza. Freaking Frieza. Always trying to mess things up. Beto the Evildoer. Or Bido. Have you opened any secret rares in Supreme Rivalry? Uh, good question. Here's Android 18. Ooh. 
and Android 13 Robotic Unity. Ooh, so unified. That's for Fergie Cave. Fergie Cave, let's see if we can find you. That's Poke Kobe. Did Poke Kobe request shipping? All right, I gotta stand up. Alan Tan, Poke Kobe. Fergie's Cave, I found you. Okay, sweet. I'm so much taller than this camera when I'm actually standing. Table's so low. All right. Whoa! I miss when we snipped hoops. Maybe I'll get some FFV. Have you called orders? If you want to open up some Final Fantasy, go for it, man. All right, let's see. Sean Leon, he says, one more live custom. Here it goes. Because of the rule. Grr. Oh! One large. Look at that, Sean. Sean Leon. Boop. And you're jumping into the large. Doot. <laughs> Hidden face Zard. Still going strong, huh? Let's see. Fergie Cave, Sean Leon, Alexander Hurst. He says, one super sexy live custom. Oh, Alex. Right after Sean Leon, huh? That's Morgan. Morgan Le Fay. He also says one shiny star, not to be confused with shiny fates, and one shiny fates, not to be confused with shiny star. All right, this is for Alexander Hurst. Good luck, Mr. Hurst. Give yourself a chance for each of the Charizards, huh? All three of them. You pull, hey, that's not a bad pack, Wolu and Ditto VMAX at the same time. It's a double pack. Trips, trips, trips. You also have, what do you got here? Boop. Ah, darn, not Charizard. But this is a Crobat VMAX. Oh, the card that you probably didn't need. <laughs> that was for Alexander Hurst. Now, where am I going to find Alexander Hurst? Are you up top in one of these? I feel like you're in one of these. Here we, you are. That was a good guess when I've seen your name that many times. There you go, Mr. Alex. Alexio Alvarez says, last one, I swear. One more ghost of the past. You got it. One more ghost of the past. Sleep. And you've got... Lavel Archer, Mask Change, Time Thief, Dragoonity, and Modoche Pudding Cess. Pudding Cess? I don't know how I feel about that name. Are we about to have Pudding Cess? All right. <laughs> Why you got a fat bag now, man? That happened so fast because of these hollows from the ghosts of the past. Now we're refreshing. Refresh. Let's see. Long night, huh, guys? We have an order for Mr. Jonathan Westfall. He says five Opus 4. All right, Opus 4 it is. Pudding cess. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Oh, these are Opus 1. Those are the super valuable ones. Hold on. <laughs> Almost opened the wrong ones for you. 
Which ones are the Opus 4? Are those the Cloud Packs or? Hold on, this is Opus 5. He ordered Opus 4. Those are the ones with Cloud. Oh, I didn't realize this was almost empty. I want to toss that to the side. I'll take those too, mister. Yeah, the Cloud. <laughs> those are the base set packs that you're seeing. I'm trying to find them. Oh, here they are. They were kind of buried. I've got so many stuff, so much stuff back here. One, two, three, four. And number five. One, two, three, four, five. Jonathan Westfall. Sleep. One, two, three, four. And five. What's a hit out of these? Uh, a popular character from Final Fantasy would be a hit. You'll want to pull that as a legendary hollow. And if you look online, if you can get a really good holographic version of a popular character, it sells for like hundreds of dollars as a graded 10. So PSA grades these if you didn't know that. So if you're a Final Fantasy uh, fan, you're missing out on these. So here's Kefka. The H means Kefka is a hero card, uh, which is pretty high up on the rarity. But it's not like the most rare, you know what I mean? That's Kefka. If we look back here, Legend is the most rare with only 14 cards per set. There's only 14 cards that are legendary in this collection. And so the trick is really to get a legendary hollow. And if it happens to be like Cloud and it's a legendary hollow, bam, you've got an expensive and rare card. So this is going to be bomb. That's just a common. So you can see even the common can get the hollow. Here's Celeste. Celeste is a legendary because of the L. Uh, but Celeste is not a, a hollow legendary card. So the Celeste would be even more rare if she was also a, a, a hollow card in this case. All right. So here we go. Mystic is a common. All right. Just Mystic common. We also keep an eye out for any sexy cards. There's a lot of sexy characters in the Final Fantasy universe. Here's Sid. He's a rare hollow. All right. And just Sid. So far, his luck is not showing up with any clouds. But clouds are hard card to pull. Vincent. Vincent's a hero. He's from the more recent games, right? Final Fantasy 17. Very good. So he could probably grade this hollow Vincent. You see that? And if the hollow Vincent grades 10, somebody might buy it. Somebody might buy it for quite a bit. If you look up the Final Fantasy PSA 10s, you'll see that they actually do go for quite a bit of money. And the most popular card, I believe, is Tifa. Tifa is the most valuable hollow um, Final Fantasy card. And we have Tifa booster packs right now. I'll show you what they look like. They cost more is the problem. So that's a Tifa booster pack, and you can pull this exact Tifa out of it. And if she grades 10, she goes for like 700, I think. Well, first you have to pull one, and then you have to grade it, and it has to come back 10. So that's a best-case scenario, uh, but it won't necessarily happen to you right away, right? You'd probably take a lot of searching. So Jonathan Westfall, he says, I have a bag. Let's go see if we can find it. These boxes are really full now. I'll remove this John Gamia bag. That should make it easier. Sweet. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan Westfall. It's always fun opening these. Some guy on Whatnot app is doing a Simpson box opening. <laughs> the Simpsons, huh? Man, they're out of... Um, they're done, right? Forever. Simpsons TV shows. That would scare me a little bit because, in my opinion, what that means for that brand is really it's for old people and, and not young people. And that means that the maximum number of collectors for that collection is already alive and it's never really going to grow over time unless they start a new Simpsons series. He says, no, are they still making Simpsons episodes? I thought that they retired. I thought they finished it. I could be wrong. thought I'd heard that. All right, let's see. I never have asked you before, any update on the tier two sub from 222? What's up, Nick? Um, I, I have no clue what you're talking about. It, you could be talking about PSA, you could be talking about CGC. 
and I honestly would have no memory of, I mean, I, I don't look at any of the submissions to find out their progress. It's probably close to being done. I'll get an email. I'll get an email when it's done and I'll post about it in the PSA news channel, okay? So if I haven't posted about it in the PSA news channel, that means it's definitely not done. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I think we're done. Jonathan Westfall has not, uh, or we, we took care of his order and nobody's ordered after him, it looks like. Woo, that's a long stream, man. And now I get to work on all kinds of shipping. Yep, okay, so we're done for the night, guys. Woo, a nice long night. I have a junk box. Uh, I did, did anyone want the junk, junk box? No more PSA grading, says Anthony. Well, I tell you what, uh, nobody ordered it. I'm just going to wrap it up and set it to the side, probably. Hello, missus, says King the German Shepherd. What? Yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice night.